I, I had a conversation with one of the most dangerous dudes that I know. Mm -hmm. And he messed my head up when I asked him about Alpo. And this is before Alpo died, right? I was at a barbecue when I was talking to him. He was like, yo, I still got love for Alpo. He ain't tell on me. And I, yo, and coming from him, I was like, this is one of the dudes that told me I can't mess with rats. And not to rat under no circumstances. Right. But there's an exception to rats. So now, for me, Takashi 69 is my uh, exception because I feel like he was kidnapped into a lifestyle that he shouldn't have been into by grown ass men. By, 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 no, but listen, listen, everybody to each his own, right? If everybody can, can, can pick and choose who can play with rats, and I'm not saying, now hold up. See, my whole thing is the only thing I want to do with Takashi 69 is make him understand that for one, he needs to stop playing like he's still in that lifestyle because it's not yours. I'm not looking to do a drive-by with him. I'm looking for, for him to use his voice to tell the other kids, like, yo, you could be yourself. Yeah. The kid with the colorful hair. This Smack rapper, smack. only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Uh -huh. Trap star, I don't hang with I the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the wave you need to surf, you heard. Yo, Jim, I need a bomb I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with gorillas. Now I'm rock with you niggas. Start working on your backup page. Never have one YouTube page. Mm. Wow. And to be honest with you, I don't even recommend niggas going live on the same page as your regular page. Mm. I'm playing myself going live on my big page, but I'm also being strategic. Right. I knew that YouTube was fucking with my page. So I said, okay, Alpo got murdered, algorithm. Everybody going to want to hear what I have to say. Right. YouTube's holding me back. They was like, my lives, like, normally I have 8,000. They was cutting me back down to 5,000. Alpo got murdered. I was 11,000 in the building. Mm. So now that broke the algorithm again. Yeah. So now they have to factory reset and put whatever glitch they put on my shit to slow my shit down. Because it's like, I watch my videos, right? I'll get... Yeah, we... Yeah, he <laughs> got it, too. Now, you know what? Some of this you don't want to put yeah. on camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know why? Let me tell you. Because now you teaching that yep. FBI agent, because mm. there's an agent on my shit, <laughs> that I'm more <laughs> than that stupid <laughs> nigga, <laughs> I, but I'm going to keep him working. No, that's real you, you, Yeah, man. Y'all at the forefront of a new era, so y'all both being, you know, YouTubers and people like watching y'all. And they on the edge of their seat. So when niggas you start talking this money they see shit, math on YouTube neither. when you start talking this money right. shit, it was niggas want to know what the right. fuck you dealing you with. Like, congratulations you know what the fuck from, from like niggas that nah, bro. it's like fuck you. Yeah, and you doing better than what niggas like what, what niggas is doing. They don't like that. Everybody think they got it on YouTube. It ain't easy. Mm -hmm. Yo, I'll be right. honest with you, niggas it help ain't. me out. They they um the battle rappers started hating so hard they started telling niggas not to do the show. Oh, so I just shit. started reaching past them. Oh shit! And getting actual artists. That's real. Shit. And now we in a different zone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's so what that, shit. But that's like that's what you had to go through. That's my peers. You know what what son, the no, battle suckers. rappers. Did you like that? Facts, bro. They was yo. Don't do that. Anymore. But we don't know that at home. At home, we don't know that. So we look yeah, at it. You know. We and, just look at it and as I'm you. Not gonna give you was battling, and now you're successful. Like, yo, these <laughs> niggas started. So my whole thing is why they not on this platform? Mm. Mm. Why they not on this platform? Mm. The rest of them, yeah, I re yeah, I don't know. See, my whole <laughs> you spearheaded it. <laughs> niggas, niggas don't want to see you win, and this is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. They did the same, they did the same show with other niggas. Facts. In the same shit. Wow. Exact same. Exact same shit. Niggas you made tried, this barbershop shit hot. Niggas tried to recreate my shit. You made the barbershop shit hot. Yeah, nobody yeah. fuck with that. <laughs> I made, the, you made the barbershop I made the car shit. The, the, car, I shit, the car shit, the driveway then, shit. Yeah. Then, every, then everybody started stealing my shit. Yeah, yeah. Stealing my, even the, the basketball nigga Kwame, I, he was making me sick. Kwame Brown, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the ugly truth yeah, for yeah, beautiful line, whip. like nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You watch me, just stop Fact. playing. Yeah. Just, just stop keep playing. Like, come on, man, right. you watch me. 
No, I could be 110% honest. I don't watch him. Mm. And yeah. I, or I knew, like, I He's knew he fan. was going to fall fast. Yeah. Because people got to understand, your best TV show was what? Martin. Martin. That nigga wasn't funny no more after a while. Yeah. Right. So now the whole key to it is, is pulling in a new audience. Because mm-hmm. even though I might have 300,000, over 300,000 subscribers, about 100,000 might feel like I don't want to watch you no more. I'm still subscribed. So you constantly have to keep pulling in new subscribers. And that's, yeah. And constantly, then you, constantly. And, yeah, and then constantly. you got to keep in mind, right? There's over seven and nine billion people in the world. Exactly. Why the fuck is niggas fighting for the same audience? Exactly. So YouTube will put you in the same algorithm where now niggas is hating, thinking, oh, he taking my donations. Those are my donations. So I'm going to go live before he go live. Nah, it don't work like that. Mm. It don't work like that. You got to keep constantly pulling and deal with, always deal with topics. Like, like the number one thing that I tell niggas all the time that's universal, that everybody go through is pain. Right. Tap right. into that shit. Mm. Every culture, there's pain. Mm. Everybody in the hood ain't smiling. Element of the universe. That's why niggas be getting mad at me. Oh, this nigga, he got a, he, 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 he got a motive. He got a nigga, what? I'm just being me. That's all I know how to do is be me. Speak your mind. Give niggas shit that they can relate to. Right. Some of your battles that, that, that caught me on to you, I was like, that made you one of my top battle rappers is some of the shit that you said. I'm like, these niggas can't relate to that. Right. <laughs> they can't relate to <laughs> Matt talking about how he fighting a nigga with a gun. Yeah. If he would have got to him, I don't remember the rhyme because it was years when you yeah. did that one when your man got shot. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm it's listening peace. like, it's yo, peace, right. for real. It's, it's, the, it's you the pain. You remember that weekend? You remember that weekend? Nah, you've been through a lot, bro. It's the pain. That was that was that was that was crazy. I was supposed to be in London. That was that crazy. Shit went down. Wow. Stayed, went to a party. Shit went left. A party at that. Party. Super love. Super love. Why you think I keep talking about the nightlife? And niggas is getting mad at me. Like I was raised with Bo. There was no club. Oh <laughs> yeah, we get into it. <laughs> <laughs> we get into it. It's a lot. All right, we ready? All right, we back. My Expert Opinion, episode 90. 90. Ooh, I got 90 of them things, man. 90. Big up, big up, big up. Money, money, big money. up, big up, big up. When we get to the 100th, 100th episode, we're going to do a live show. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for like details and how you're going to attend that, be a part of that. But it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Shout out to the subscribers. Shout out to everybody. If you're watching for the first time, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that like, hit that share. Let everybody know you in here. It don't cost you no paper unless you're a mother hater, all right? Of course. Yeah. King Shaven. King Shaven. Go to kingshavenproducts.com. Pick this up and on your way home, grab a box of condoms because the work is coming. <laughs> you put this on your bed. It's coming. All right. Get the King Seduction or King's Elixir, KingShavingProducts.com. Promo code HOT for game. Now, tonight's show, I got to say what's up to the bro, Mr. Mech in the building. On the left. So you know what I mean? Your woo. favorite AR, he'll throw your demo in the trash. <laughs> <and tell> you, <laughs> you know, feel me? I got my man K Gutter in the building. Hip hop movie. If you don't know, go go do some research. Sean Bigger, he's gonna say six words during this episode. It's gonna be the <laughs> realest shit ever. <laughs> Shut down the whole room. <laughs> we got the five guard in the building. Third side. You heard? Vibes, Bronx, BX, all day. And we have a YouTube legend slash menace <laughs> slash uh, 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 a truth speaker slash. Yo, you you name it. He's on his way to a half a million subscribers. Word up. And all he does is speak his mind and speaks from here. Word up. Gotta show this man love. Hassan Campbell's in. Word up. Love. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. You my favorite YouTuber, son. My favorite. I'll be sitting there sometimes like somebody had to say that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? A nigga like me, I'm trying to get to like 
TV networks. I know I can't step. I didn't did. I did too much. I did too much. <laughs> <laughs> I did too much. So sometimes I'll be watching your shit like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me donate something. All right. <laughs> All right. What else, huh? Yeah, what keep rocking. Right. Yeah, well, uh, let me be the first to tell you, you put me on your platform, you just been banned. I'm going to spell your name when we drop the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw the blood out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy because you sit back and you look at Vlad. Right. And you see some of the lamest niggas on this platform. Mm. Vlad know who I am. Right. Mm. You don't see me there. Mm. You look at Adam22. Mm-hmm. Some of the dudes on this platform, you don't see me there. Like some of the biggest platforms act like they're a uh, hot 97. Wow. Like Africa Bambada is one of the biggest stories ever that hit hip hop. Right. This is the godfather of hip hop. Right. Bronx River is the home of hip hop. Real right. talk. How the hell they just overlook me like I just don't exist? Mm. I don't think they overlook you. I think. They're scared of getting sued. <laughs> they say some of the shit that you're gonna say, but I think it takes it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of heart. And again, some of the things that you say, people need to hear them. People need to hear this shit. But if we want, let, let, let's go into the African Bambada situation. I think if you're familiar, you already know. What I want to get into is after that situation. If you're not familiar, alleged, well, not alleged, but there was a situation where you were molested the assault. by this man. Yeah, certain words of the algorithm you want to, the assault. Yeah, yeah, the assault. But there's some people who don't bounce back, and you bounce back. What were the steps that it took to get past that? Mm. Mm. Uh... YouTube became like a therapy. Mm. Right. If you would have told me five years ago that I would be on YouTube doing anything that I did, I'd be like, you're bugging. Or anybody else that knows me, be like, you're bugging. Right. People that know me, I can't, I, I can't, I still can't believe. I remember when I first started blogging, when my wife told me that, uh, you're a blogger now. I wanted to beat up. <laughs> it was disrespectful, would you yeah. call me? But the reality of, no, yeah, I, I, I'm a blogger now. Yeah. It became therapeutic to actually just deal, but at the same time, you'll also see me lashing. It was like Iron Sheik, you know, battle rapper Iron Sheik, shout out yeah. to him. He was like, he told somebody one day, he was like, yo, that nigga Haas be on YouTube crying. He's crying because he's trying not to kill you. Right. He's letting it out on camera because this is not what he's normally used to doing. So he's making his threats and everything's coming out on camera. Because right. if he wasn't on camera, it would be a whole totally different ball game. So the camera just, I started off on my platform like, um, you know, just bringing other people's stories. Mm. Like um, the sister Patrice, she also told her story and right now she's in court suing X-Clan. Mm. The legendary group from the Bronx. Right. You know, from hip hop, she's suing them. There's other people that I actually brought out with their stories and helped them with their cases. So that was therapeutic for me. But at the same time, what people didn't realize is that me telling my story placed judgment on my mother. Hmm. Mm. So now that put a wedge in between me and my mother. Mm. Because even with my moms, my moms was raised in a house with 13 brothers and sisters and a psychopath um, stepfather that was raping her sisters. Oh, wow. So, you know, later on in life, when I started to see and realize all of the things that trickled down on me from the things that happened to them, and then I told my story, it was like, okay, she had to feel all the, you know, the comments and the, so it caused a wedge in between me and my mother. Hitting right. too close to home. It hit too close, it hit real close to home, and then it got to a point where now my mother was fighting for a life for two years. So wow. these are the two years you see me going bananas on YouTube. You know, the outburst, the crying. You see me outside with the hammer, with the dog on, police, all types of stuff like that. Right. Threatening them, talking, you know what I mean? Right. Just bugging. Because mm-hmm. it, it took me, it put me in a, a, 
a mental roller coaster. And see, what a lot of people don't understand is like how some people say, well, why you don't stick to your topic? What you came out. You was talking about child molestation when you came out. Yeah. Do you realize that it opened up a wound? And, it, yo, I would like, if I had to do this all over again, I would not. Mm. Absolutely. Nobody knew me as this, this, this vlogger dude on the street. My name was respected. Right. Mm. Then what people got to understand is, is like, okay, so now when I told this story, I had an army behind me. That army's gone wow. because I can't trust none of these people anymore. Wow. You got to understand, Africa Bambada has one of the strongest f of families, the first family of hip hop, the strongest influence over hip hop in the music industry, and is one of the most feared dudes behind the scenes in music. Right. Dudes is not going to say that. A lot of these rappers, like you got to understand, Ice Cube, Zulu Nation, Q-Tip, Zulu Nation, Queen Latifah, Zulu Nation. Mm -hmm. right. Little Wayne just joined it when, on, when all of this just happened. There was business deals going down between, uh, allegedly between Jay-Z and Beyonce when this happened with Africa Bambada. Mm. So certain, like you gotta, there's a pot, the machine is behind this man. The machine, the machine didn't spank him the way they spanked Bill Cosby. I did. Wow. Mm. I did. So it's like, when you sit back and you analyze it, People like oh, people that act that got molested don't act like this. Most of the dudes that was in Africa Bambada's book that I know got more bodies than Alpo. Mm. Everybody with bodies just don't have names like that all over the place. Right. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these dudes were psychopaths because of that. Mm -hmm. So it's like who, who acts like that? Half, half, half the Bronx. A lot of dudes that's that's catching massive bodies. Why does why is the little nigga so angry? Facts, right? Because that uncle that these celebrities be making fun talking about. Yeah, when he come to the Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner, when you hit it on the uh, the, the the comedians when they making the jokes about the uncle that everybody that that, that where that's them around. Kids, where them kids? That, where the kids, kids at? Where the kids uh -huh. at? Yeah. So they telling you that everybody knows about Chester the molester, but ain't nobody doing nothing about him. Mm. Mm. Everybody knew about Bam Bada. Wow. I, I could kind of identify with that. I, I had a situation with somebody close to my family that was, you know, I used to get these warnings. Wow. Yo, don't go no place with such and such. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when you go over there, if he asks you to don't go no wow. place with such and such. That's serious. So I would be, uh, as a little kid, just looking at him like, what is, what, what's up with him? You know mm, what I mean? Like, cause yeah, I yeah. don't know what it is, but yeah. like, right. why does why do you talk about him like he a monster, but we still here in the house? Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Let me say something to you, right? But hold, hold on, hold on. Some What's real shit, too. Let, let me finish this up. Let me finish this up. Yeah. Years later, this person um, opened a, a studio. And one of my favorite artists that was coming up in the studio, I swore this dude was going to be like, Hove. Yeah. He got into a situation with his family, so he was staying at the studio. Something happened one night after he was drinking. And my, my family, like, the older men in my family, they don't play that shit. Mm -hmm. So when everybody heard about it, they was like, well, you know what we got to do? He calls me one day and he tells me the story of what happened and why. Because, of course, he came back the next day and he put hands on him. I had to break this to two gangsters in my family like, yo, this is what happened. You can't go after him. Mm. Because, and it's crazy. It's crazy because to this day, you know, the fan, they still around, but it's like, you know, I, I, it, it's just wild, bro. How people, I feel like there was a time or there was an era that we're coming out of that a lot of people just overlooked that shit. Nah, definitely. Our parents, you know what I mean? Like you hear stories and your grandmother and this and you know, okay, yeah, he might not be from your grandmother because you know, we need such and such used to live down the street and da 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 And it was like, but you know, how, you know how karma worked though? Word. Karma works in a way like where things that was accepted back then 
it's like you wouldn't dare do it now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and this, and I understand because it was a family, it was a family thing before. Like, we just trying to keep our family together because the older people, one thing about the, the older generation, meaning like our grandparents, older uncles, they valued family structure. That's real. Mm -hmm. Right. So I respect that. Even though things was being done wrong, they didn't know nothing else but family structure because that's how they survived. We coming. Coming from background from having bloods of a slave, as you say all the time. You got bloods of a slave. Serious. So it wasn't until we started getting into our era, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I mean? Moving forward that it's this I don't give a fuck mentality. Right. So now it's no, it's no type of, we not taking nothing. You know what I mean? We gonna body our uncle, we gonna whoever. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to say it's a good or bad thing. It's just to say that with time, what we tolerated, these young boys not gonna tolerate no right. more. You know what I'm saying? Me and you might not tolerate it. Or we might. You know what I'm saying? We might be in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure me and, me and you in the same age bracket. Like, I watched you come up. I watched you snuff niggas like I just said before. <laughs> you know what I mean? You was always one of my favorite battle rappers. I'm not into battle rap. I mm. was into you because you was hands on. Mm. I like hands on. I'm from the Bronx. You're from Brooklyn. It's the same. Right. You know my man. I know you through my man Un. You know what I'm saying? So I know you through street shit. Right. You know what I mean? So I always, I always Adapt respect that. Yeah, I always respected that. So my thing is like, I remember that that era of, I know people that niggas was, you know, I yeah, know, yeah. you know, gay uncles, molested uncles, you know what I'm saying? And I couldn't understand it. Like, yo, I used to hear the stories like, why is he still here? Right. You know what I'm saying? But now I understand it was just that the older generation understood the value of family, the value of we needed each other. We can't cast nothing out. And that's kind of a pro of a con to today where we beef with each other and everybody's beefing with each other and not holding that structure. So it's like wrong and right. But there's, there's the two sides time. of the same yeah, going, yeah. Going, going too far in both directions. Right. In both directions. And on right. one side. Because at the same time, that's destroying the family. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And you can't, you what, can't what, have what that kind those, of poison. What do they have to live with? Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. You, so that's poison. That's why I always commended you for, for, for coming out with the story. It's not a, that's not a hard thing. That's not easy. You feel what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. When you lose some of the closest people you love and you know you'll never be the same, like there's conversations that I want to have mm -hmm. that I can't have right now because this unfinished business, this nigga's lining me up right now trying to line me up for exposing Africa Bambada. Mm. I just had phone calls, phone conversations today. I threw my whole day off, and I said, "Nah, I'ma still make it. I'ma give, keep my word. I wasn't even gonna come no more. Like, nah, because I'm just like, and it's like, how do you kill somebody you love? Mm. So now it's a chess game with dudes that's fake smiling and fake laughing. Like, I love you, I love you, I love you, but in all, in all actuality, the same fat nigga that fucked all these little boys." He's sprinkling bread around. Now you got a John Doe that's coming out on him that he don't know much about. Maybe he do. Maybe, maybe it's a plan. I don't know. But what I do know is he know that's a threat to his whole reputation, to him. Like, because nobody actually sued him until now. I didn't want to sue him. I don't want his money. This is not prostitution. And I'm not saying that anybody that goes after the dollar behind somebody that hurt them is prostitution. But it's like, it's, it's no point of me taking his money. Mm -hmm. There's no point. What is, what is it going to do for me? Make me look like that's why I went at him? Nah, keep your money. Now, if we're going through the criminal aspect, which all of these lawyers want money first. They want, they want the lawsuit first. You can't do it without the So money. now with the John Doe that's going at him, because he took dudes over state line, it becomes federal. Mm. Mm. So now I see certain people reaching out and then other people reaching out. Well, you know, um, I ain't want to tell you this, but... Blase, blase, blah, blase, blase, blah, be on point. And it's like, oh, okay. Right. Some of these videos that you see being made about me is people that's actually being paid by him, sponsored by him. Wow. Mm. And because I come at so many rappers now, it's the perfect cover. He got a lot of beef now. Mm. Now it's time for us to play our card. Mm. Let's play the game, nigga. That took a lot of strength for you, though, to stand up to yeah. all of that. To, yeah. to just deal with that process is a, is a lot of strength. A lot of people wouldn't deal with it that way and still be kind of like sane. Like somehow you made it. 
But why why not go through the criminal criminal court system? No, the criminal is where I want to go. At first, initially when I came out, I didn't I didn't even want to do none of this. Like it was like I got when I came out, I came out on Facebook. But the time I came out, some of the brothers that I had love for that raised me in the game started the Zulu Warriors. Mm. And that security company, like, you'll see footage with me with mad celebrities. We was bodyguarding mad celebrities, and it was picking up. It was hitting big. Right. So now, threatening Bam with these the allegations on him, it threatened Zulu Nation as a whole. So they asked me to take the video down because, yo, you destroying the brand now. Everything was the brand, the brand. And because these were the brothers that I actually dealt with, I rocked with, I said, you know what, I'm going to take my video down. I did it. Six months later, out of nowhere, Beastinger comes out. I look at the newspaper. No, no, let me slow it down. I get a phone call. Niggas talking about killing you. The dude that made that phone call is a dangerous nigga that I met through them niggas. We became real close. So when he called me, he said, look at the newspaper. I look at the newspaper. Beast Stinger's on the newspaper. I calls the nigga Bambada immediately like, yo, I don't got nothing to do with that dude. But because niggas is talking about X, Y, Z, I said, yo, throw, I, I'm going to be real. I said, yo, throw me a couple of burners. Wow. Throw me a couple of burners so I can handle my business. So the nigga Bam was like, talk to Tafik. I said, what? I said, I'm talking to you, nigga. He was like, uh, uh, to, to talk to, nigga, fuck you. That's when I ended up on Star. Mm. Because my whole thing is, nah, don't play with me. Don't act like you don't know what's going on. Talk to this one, talk to that. No, I'm talking to you. I don't have nothing to do with Beast Stinger. So, I guess he didn't know that at the time. It's like, okay, I'm just being attacked again. What, what, what part of the game is this? When I spoke to Bam, they had a meeting. I skipped past this. They had a meeting. Wow. In the meeting, he confessed in front of a room full of niggas what he did. This was Muhammad's house. F was there. Doc was there. J heavy wow. hitters was there. Wow. Sitting there. Heavy hitters. He started crying, apologizing, and everything else that he was going to do X, Y, Z. He was going to build a, 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 a community center. He was going to give back to the youth. And the only thing I asked him was to put it on tombstone on my man B.O.'s grave. Wow. There was three things that he promised. He ain't do none of that, but I ain't bothered a nigga. All right, cool. He apologized. The fact that he acknowledged in front of the, the room of people he did that to me was enough for me. I moved past it. Right. When B. Stinger came back out, you put, he pulled me back into this world. And see, the reason why I was so mad at B. Stinger, you know, why you keep flipping on another victim? Because I'm warring now with my own, with, with the, the same niggas he's with. I'm warring with. One minute you giving me conversations with these niggas trying to, like, give you money to pay you off. Because they was more scared of B. Stinger than me because B. Stinger was playing with the, um, that, the, the legal team. Mm -hmm. So they was nervous of him. He's playing with the legal team. So he, he got, you got um, all these dudes on the phone offering him money. That audio is on the internet. It's there. All right. And then you got Mickey Benson, which was Fat Joe and um, Ice-T manager in the past. I don't know if they still dealing with him or whatever the case. He, man, he managed a lot of groups on the phone telling them, you, you know you like it. You know you was with it. Ain't nobody force you to do nothing. So because... A grown man took advantage of a little boy. He had to be forced. If that's your logic. So, you know what I mean? That was the thing. My thing with Beast Stinger was, was that allegedly people put him up to coming out against Bam because it was a money thing for him. Mm. Not to say Bam didn't do what he did. Because I can tell you right now from the things that Beast Stinger said, Bam got him. On top of the fact it, that it correlated with, with it correlated with a lot, he did not make that up, and um, the reality of it is like Bam, yo, Bam got too many dudes, way too many dudes. I seen dudes in his book that I won't even I don't I wouldn't even call them niggas names because they that dangerous. Like wow, these niggas ain't nothing to play with. But does it make you angry? Have you was that was him admitting that? 
in the circle the closure for you? Was that was that what you needed? It wasn't. What it was is that when I told my story on a nigga, it was a build up. For one, I couldn't even like after he got stabbed, he gave me the picture of the dude that stabbed him. We was looking for the dude to air the nigga out. I tell niggas this all the time. He gave me the picture. If dude just stabbed him for no reason, people got to understand, son. Even though Bam molested me, he raised me. And I was raised about a, around a bunch of molesters. He wasn't the only one. I was being molested since I was a kid. So with Bam, it was like he also protected me and raised me. So it's like, all right, this is the uncle that molested you that paid your way to college. So when people sit up there saying, oh, he paid his way to college. No, nigga, I went to jail. And when they said I, he was in a relationship, I was 18. When I turned 18 years old, September 3rd turned on 18. September 5th, I believe it was, Max got shot on Trio. September 6th, I was on a run for murder. So I'm on a run for multiple homicides now and attempt murders. I'm on Rikers Island for, uh, for, for three years fighting cases. So all these times when they sitting up here, this was going on with Bam. No, I was in jail. Mm. These was my early years of, 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 of going on with Bam. But I eventually, at some point in time, I broke off from Bam anyway. I was in Connecticut doing things out there and all, all over the place, just, just tearing shit up. But when Homeboy got stabbed, it was like it was eating me. I'm having conversations behind the scenes like, yo, everybody's just shunning it off, shunning it off, shunning it off. And it was one day I was watching, um, was it Criminal Minds? What's his name? Shamar or whatever. I don't remember the name, the brother name. Criminal Minds. I was watching the episode. And I think it was his gym teacher that got him. That molested him, right? And he came back. Right? So he came back, and that was what the episode was about. Now, the crazy part about it is when I seen that episode, I was in Bam's building in the same apartment, but on a lower floor. So it, it, like, it, it kind of like struck me, right? Then I think I had a drink, and I was on the phone with my moms. And I blurted it out what the nigga did to me. And I heard like it was like you, you see how this room is silent. Yeah. There was a cold silence. Like I, I know it. I, I know it stuck a nail through her, cause I never tell nobody my mother didn't love me, at all. It's just that she was dysfunctional. Right. Just keeping it funky. So when she heard that, it was just put like a nail through her. So I said I knew right then and there. Once I did that to her, he had to feel that. And that's what the video was that ended up with me in the car. And I put on Facebook and everybody was bugging. Like, you had, like a, a, a lot of people was bugging. Right. Because they knew the street version. It was like, wow, if he said that, that happened. Mm. Well, I got to ask. If, um, because you got kids. A lot of kids. We was just talking about that. If something like that was to happen to one of your children now. <laughs> what would be your response? If somebody touched one of my kids, like, I, matter of fact, let me say this, right? My oldest son is 25 years old. Right. We had a bad relationship because of things that happened. Like, my, my big homie, B.O., was murdered by sex money murder. Mm -hmm. Everybody thought Pete did it. Pete didn't do it. It was Twin. Twin is my son's uncle. So it caused a wedge in between the relationship with me and my son. Now, I've heard rumors of these things happening to my son. My son is gay right now. And I promised myself, if I ever found out who did that to my son, I don't care how long, how much time goes by, they ass is out of here. Mm. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts about it. If I find out that you touched my child, I'm not calling 911. That's the mother's job. Mm. Mm. You're done. Ain't no, no if, ands, but what I will say is there's a situation with this rapper dude. I don't remember his name. They talking about the, 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 he, the mother played the recording with the um, baby oh, supposed to be getting a nail. Yeah, yeah. He put a nail in the... Like, me personally, I didn't touch that story. Because my thing is, for one, the first thing she did 
was grab a phone mm. and coerce Shorty. Nobody just picks up a phone and starts recording and it goes in like that when something happened. On, number two, that happened two months ago and it was nail screws. And it took you two months to let the world know that this is what a man did. Put screws in you. Like, there's certain things yeah. that'll make you fall back that's a, that's, a, that's a red light. Right. Yeah. Just like when your situation came, when that girl came out, the first thing I said was, nah, we need more. Mm -hmm. You got to come with more than what you're just saying because a female could get mad and say anything out mm -hmm. of her mouth. Right, right. Mm -hmm. One of my close family members, just three weeks ago, he just got locked up, right? First, he got charges put on him. Now, him and Shorty, she already know they breaking up. This stupid nigga think he gonna save he gonna save the family. She already got her mind made up. So now, when it gets bad, when she realizes he's the breadwinner, he's paying all the bills. First thing he she does is she calls child welfare and says that he's touching the children. Her seventeen year old, and um, he has she accused him of using his phone to show pornography to his own two-year-old daughter first thing they did order protection get some out of the house now he still is not he's still not charged yet now you got me sitting up there looking at somebody i love daily nigga that i raised like yo questioning is this nigga foul because you can't never x out the female what she have to say but you got that you you looking at what if what if this nigga's always around my daughters and they love him when the seventeen-year-old comes to court, she hates. She hates the nigga. She gets on the stand and said, "Nah, he ain't do that." Hmm. Mm. The son gets on the stand talking shit like, "Yeah, I ain't scared of that nigga. I punched him in his face twice. He didn't do nothing to the kid that punched him in his face. Hmm. He normally he would break him up because he knew he was being baited. So now she has Section Eight to pay all her bills." In my conversation to him, and I, I planned on making videos, but I'm giving you an exclusive. My whole yeah. thing is like this, yo. <laughs> with, the, with, 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 these, with these dudes, right? With these females. Her last relationship. This is what made me mad with this nigga. Right. You get with the female. You move with her to another state away from her last baby father. Right? Right. She used the same tactics with a new nigga to get away with the old nigga. Right. And now the old nigga helping him out in court because she did the same thing to him. But my whole thing to you sucker dudes out there, man, mind your business when it comes to a woman and a man and their kids, man. If she telling that kid or that man that he can't see his kids, you make them. You make that female let that man see his kids. Because if she do it to him, she'll do it to you. But the crazy part about it is, not if you accuse him of rape. Mm. So that's how she got out the last situation. Wow. I mean, it, that's always a touchy subject. That's always a touchy, touchy subject. Because I've dated women who got good baby fathers, and I've dated women who got terrible baby fathers, who teach their children not to respect their mother regardless to whether they're not supporting or whatever these are guys that's just angry at the world and they just wreaking havoc amongst the people that they love right you feel what i'm saying or i'm mad we not together so now i'm a i'm a curse at you i'm gonna threaten you i'm gonna do all this in front of the kids oh mm. god wow. that's not it so oh, sometimes like <sighs> It, it, it's a sticky situation. If you that type of nigga, yo, bro, nobody needs you. If I got to step up, I'll do it. But if you not and you, yo, I'm here for my kids, I just said, ah, and y'all just don't get along, let me see his kids. But sometimes, some father, there's fathers out there that do more damage in the kid's life. That's going to mess them up. Have their daughters thinking they need to be with somebody who's going to slap the shit out of him wow. or curse at him or call him a bitch. Wow. You know what I mean? And that's that shit. That's the cycle. Break away from that shit. That's the cycle right there. All right. Getting past all this. Right. Getting past <laughs> all this. Um, from there, you kept 
YouTubing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's you get kept it. YouTubing. And eventually you became a voice that a lot of people look for daily. What is that like, man? Once you realize, like, I can talk. <laughs> I can talk to people. And they want to hear it. Oh, shit. Yo, it's crazy because the people in my life yeah. be like, shut up. Even this nigga. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to hear that shit. Man. <laughs> but I be talking shit because you could have, once again, I'm like, hold up. Am I really sitting here live and people donating in the super chat showing me love? Mm. There's no better feeling in the world. And it's not even just so much of the, uh, for the money. When somebody hits you on your DM or sit up there and say, your words changed my life. Wow. There's no better feeling in the world because I always said from the beginning, even now, if I could save one life, then my job is done. Right. Just one life. One life. And all you clown ass niggas that came along, I understand. But stop, like, stop coming with my, with, with, with my saying. Stop trying to be me. Like, be yourself. Because niggas be lying. They ain't trying be yourself, to, don't niggas be ain't yourself, trying to, Niggas ain't trying to save nothing. They just want the audience. Right. That's all they want is the audience. If you notice now, I don't really post too much no more. I'm fading out. Because after a while, it don't even feel too good no more. Mm. The love feel fake. The hate is real, but the love feel fake. I'd rather the hate than the fake love. Mm. Some fake... You know how a nigga give you that fake dap and it's like you could feel the energy like you could have kept that nigga. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, kept yeah, that. yeah, 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 get off that. Shit. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like... End that, end that, end that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? End that. Throw with, that back. With the success, with the fame, right. the amount of envy that comes, Yeah. I'm sitting up there helping dudes that sneak dissing me like, what? Serious. Mm. So I just helped you. I'm doing everything and you dissing me? You sit up there... You, you know, it's crazy because sometimes you can help a person mm -hmm. and a nigga take your help, but I don't really want it from you. And I feel like I deserve everything that you getting, so I really hate you. Mm -hmm. mm. So now it makes you want, it makes you understand what I used to sit up there and say, like, now I see why celebrities just break away and disappear. Exactly. Right. The not, entitlement. Yeah. Exactly. You, it's, it's like not even just the entitlement because it's like, yo... Behind you sitting up there, just recently, I ain't gonna even say the nigga name. <laughs> I was about, I was watching another YouTuber, and I was about to hit the nigga with a super chat, and I heard this nigga just dragging me indirectly, and I'm like, right, yeah, let me just leave it alone, cause then I look like the bully. It's like Fifty Cent said before, he always looked like the bully when he responds. But it's the shit that made me respond that oh. you're not seeing. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Or not relating to But they're right. not going to see that. Just like, you know, in school. The, you're the tallest kid in the class. You're the one who started the fight. Right. Yeah. You feel me? You can't get around it. Yeah. It's like, okay, all right, well, you can't hurt him, but he can hurt you. So you're in trouble because... But, you know, just little motherfuckers run up and think that they, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you want me to do? Just stand there and be like, you know what, he's, he's small. I'm not going to defend myself. Nah, fuck that shit. That's the, right. price of, yeah. that's the price of fame, though. That's what it comes with. Like, there's no getting around that for, for anybody. Once you get in the spotlight, envy comes with it. Jealousy comes with it. Hate comes with it. It, it Honestly, the idea of a hate-free life even when you're helping somebody you just have to figure out if it's worth it or not if it's worth it to continue doing it now, it, for me i feel like if i'm gonna help you i'm not gonna help you for you to do something for me later i'm gonna just do it whether you whatever you do with that or you end up becoming somebody talking shit about me or whatever or the, the, my, my blessings come from god i'm gonna do this because it's in my heart and I'm gonna keep it moving. Oh no, it's the flip side to that coin. I just I agree and disagree. If I see, I met what I mastered in life is what he said. When I do good things, like when Lily be in my ear, <laughs> you know you gotta pay your taxes, you gotta do this, or this one be in my ear, don't do this, do my whole thing is like this, right? Blessings, my blessings come from helping other people. Mm -hmm. 
But if I got a flat and I'm stranded on the highway and I need you to come get me off that highway to help me with a spare, right. or help me get some flat fix or something, mm -hmm. and you talking about I'm watching the game, <laughs> this is the problem that I be having. But this is what I'm saying. I don't respect. I don't expect nothing in return. But actually, in some cases, I do. Do right. And if it's an emergency, and I know you got me, if I tell you I need a ride to work, I'm gonna get fired if I don't get there. Mm -hmm. And you talking about yo? I was tired, man. I'm sleeping, man. And every time you need me, I'm there. And you couldn't be there for me that one. No, we have a problem. We most definitely have a problem. I'm not, I'm not saying the problem don't exist. With me, though. Yeah, that nigga fell far. <laughs> That's how I handle it. <laughs> you can't do that? <laughs> okay, all right, cool. Right. One, one less person I need to help. Cool. And you're going you're gonna to weed right. them out your whole life. Like, those people are going to show themselves your whole Constantly. stretch. There's Constantly. no... Whether you've helped them... Whether you've just been indifferent, whether you've done nothing, those mm -hmm. people are going to show themselves every step. It's mm -hmm. just, that, again, is it worth it for you? Is it worth it to keep discovering people in this way if, when they're mm -hmm. disappointing you? Because that's what you're talking about is disappointment. Like, yeah. yo, man, you, you disappointed the shit out of me. Like, come on, man, all the stuff like that's disappointing as people, fuck that you that guy for me. People exactly. are going to disappoint you regardless, man. Period. But it's the energy that you send out. The same way that... A motherfucker will walk down the block with his face screwed up and ice grill everybody and give everybody a bad feeling. Now they taking that bad feeling to the next block. Exactly. And the next block. And they gonna pass it on to somebody mm -hmm. else. And eventually that one ice grill could lead to somebody mm -hmm. murdering somebody. Mm -hmm. Just off energy being transferred. Mm -hmm. So if you do something good, whatever good energy is on that person for the time being, they might be a fucked up person. But hopefully they carry that on to somebody else that's going to save somebody's life. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. People going to disappoint you, bro. Mm -hmm. This is just going to happen. There's nothing you can do about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just the people that you, that you keep helping are the people who's there for you. Yeah. But Math, every situation ain't going to be like that. Math, what was that? You, you said something key. A couple of shows back, you were talking about how pain attracts pain. Right. I'm, I'm paraphrasing it, but it was something to yeah. that extent. Yeah. Think about the people who are tuning in to hear you talk. These are hurt people. Mm. They're attracted to your wound. A lot of times, hurt attracts hurt. Mm -hmm. What would you expect from these people other than fucked up behavior because they're fucked up? You are, you are literally in the mix of a group of people struggling with their own trauma. And you just spoke about it earlier. A lot of the people who've had that same kind of trauma are running around catching bodies. Right. Not coming to get you when you got a flat is like the minimum. <laughs> if, if he'll catch a body, mm -hmm. talking about I'm watching the game, if that's the level of toxic you got, like... You, you kind of got it good. <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah. I'm going to keep it all the way funky. Yeah. To some degree, the killers... I'll be the most loving dudes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's a time to love and it's a time to get busy in the hood. Mm -hmm. Like, pain is what shaped and molded us. That's why I tell people all the time, a lot of dudes can't figure me out because they lacking that, that ingredient, mm -hmm. which is pain. So what they do is when they trying to sit up there and discredit me, oh, this nigga's, he from the suburbs. The what? Nigga, I grew up in Bronx River Projects. Do you know what it was like? Mm. To actually have to walk from my building, which was up the hill, 1455, past all the other buildings to go to the store. <laughs> Just How, Yo, like first Just and foremost... That. To get in the, the elevator. That's one of those parents just don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you know a story I mean? yourself. And you know every time I'm here in the crib, <laughs> Mom, you send me the store. store right now. Yeah, come on. So you, know know outside. Outside? you know what time yeah. it is. You know what time it is. That's what they don't oh. understand. I'm coming back in with footprints on me. Yeah. You go to the store. Like, Word. This oh, is where we at. Shit. We at. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Best yeah. stop. Best stop. We got to do it again. This is Street in Nostrand Avenue. My mom sent me out to get two onions. I came back in with footprints on me. And I said, I told you! <laughs> mm, that's real. <laughs> yeah. 
had wouldn't have been me. <laughs> as soon as I would have said, I told you, like, what you say, boy? <laughs> mm-hmm. wow. All right, what that extension cord at? Wow. Yeah, that mm. extension cord. And it's like, pew, you got to catch me. <laughs> like, I'm not standing. My sister, <laughs> why are you hitting on my brother? So half the ass whipping went to her. Mm, By wow. the time my mother was finished, well, I was running. Like, you, I'm, you're going to be Fast out of breath. Fuck, boy. Yeah. You're going to be out of breath. I'm, you're, I'm going to make you chase me. And then it was like, oh, you just tried to kick me? No, I was blocking it with my foot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to, like, that catch it with kick. my foot. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, wasn't yeah, you, yeah, that was you yeah, yeah, yeah. But fast forward to, to today, though. Right. The dudes coming up now, they go to the store and might get killed. Wow. We just mm. had to worry about footprints. Yeah. Getting mm. jumped, whatever, punch in the face. No, nah, we had to worry about kids. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. We had to worry about Oh, no, you don't get away with that. Uh-uh. Mm. See, the only difference between this corny-ass generation right now... Don't do that. No, no, no. Let me finish. This corny-ass generation right now, the level and the caliber mm. of killers from my generation, these dudes can't compare to. The level of discipline. See, the difference between these niggas' generation and my generation... You would never catch my, nobody from my generation going live <laughs> with a hammer <laughs> sitting up there saying I'm on such and such block right now, right? Because that's how that, that's how a nigga from uh, a few niggas got shot and murdered, taunting their enemy on live. Right. In our generation, the reason why we beat bodies was because there was no motive. We never talked about the beef. You never knew we had beef. The right. only niggas that was pillow talking was them stupid niggas in the South. Mm. In this generation, you got dudes on YouTube, different websites. You type them in. Oh, so this happened with K-Flocker. This is K-Flocker cousin D-Thing. And D-Thing, man, got hit on this corner. And to that same day, the little nigga posted this on Instagram. Our generation right. didn't do that. You, you your, your generation didn't you, have cop, the internet. Cops solving though. crimes, reading comments. Listen, no, you, the, look, your, listen. your generation didn't have the internet like it is now. No, so no, that's, the, the, listen, hold up, hold up, hold up. Everything's the hold internet. Up, hold up. It was no hold internet. Up, hold no, but, but hold even, up. even though it was a standard, bro. Back in the days, the camera came out and it was like, niggas, hold up, hold up. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, right? You can't compare the dudes that the dudes that. My OGs had beef with. You can't compare that. And my OGs, no, you can got listen, what you gotta understand is in our generation, even still now, dudes from my generation and older yeah. are not on Instagram. They refuse. And there's still dudes right now in the new generation that was raised by these niggas that's not on Instagram. So no, everybody's not on there. Plus, on top of that, right? And they broke. If you looking, if you, if you, if, <laughs> that's not true. Or they look like it. They, they that's look not like true. it. They don't tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They won't say that. That's, that's not true. You, you don't broke. listen. You they know why I started doing that? Your math. Before my era, you broke. Your math. You know why wow. I started doing this? Or you run around robbing niggas. Look at my old whatever. videos. You, die when I, look at my old videos when I got on when I got on on, on YouTube. I was still with the bag. Look, I didn't care what I looked like. Oh, he was a bum. YouTube takes. You jumped on YouTube. That's it. But listen to me. Listen. That's something you would have never did back then. But, 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 but listen, but, right but listen let, but let, me, let me show you the difference, right? You, you conform to this era. At one point in time, I would have never been riding around with no bins. When I went to go get me a brand new car, even though I had cars, and I realized where I came from, I went and got me a Mitsubishi, nigga. Mm. Because I realized the police didn't pull over the Mitsubishi. They pulled over the bins. Right. But because now... Wow. Somebody hit me up and said, yo, you know you got the ladies watching you, right? When I start switching up my clothes and start stepping it up, the niggas was hitting my shit just to see, oh, he got a new hat on the day? <laughs> so, oh, so it's going to bring me 10,000 okay. more views because yeah, you yeah, want to yeah, be nosy? Yeah, 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 it's yeah, not yeah, even yeah. about the message no more. All right, yeah, I got yeah, you, yeah, got right, you. Right. So our generation, right, the caliber of dudes, like, for example, right, with B.O., when me and B.O. got together, let's say, for example, he used to live on 120, 126 in Park. Mm-hmm. We'd come out the parking lot, right? When he came out the parking lot, I couldn't get in the car until he pulled out. And it, was, it was in the one way and the light turned green. green. There's no getting in the car when the light is red. You're not driving by, like, the discipline. Mm-hmm. Right. It's different. My, 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 his brother, T-Mac. 
my big homie, my bro, my big brother. I don't have a big homie. I feel like if you got a big homie, he should be able to. And I, I'm not disrespecting the brothers that use that as a terminology, but if you're a 40 year old dude running around with, with a big homie instead of your, your family, because we call it, we come from the era of family. Right. But from my perspective, if you got a big homie, he should be able to sleep with your wife. You 40 years old talking about the big homie, and nine <laughs> times out of 10, the big homie is 26 years old or 15. Like, you should let him have your wife. Yeah, you don't even bad. deserve her. It's a little bad. So the caliber of dudes that, that, I, that I've dealt with, if you around these dudes that raised me, first and foremost, you standing outside, when they talk, they got their hand over their mouth. Mm. Mm-hmm. So that the cameras yep, yep. that wasn't there, yep. they was the binoculars then, couldn't read their lips. Exactly. These little niggas is being prepped by the feds to take themselves down. All of the murders in Chicago happens on Instagram first and happens on Instagram after. So now every blogger is connecting the dots of who killed who, when they killed them, how they killed them, and the feds is leaving it that way because the drill mu- music is the cycle. Now the Bronx adapted this bullshit, and what they're doing is what I don't like is because you taking kids that's coming from pain and poverty, right? They got all this pain built up, and this is how they know how to unleash it. Mm-hmm. So they see the blueprint is, okay, we're going to start smoking on the dead. We're going to sit up there and smoke on the dead. Then... After we smoke the dead, this nigga going to come and smoke you because you just disrespect his family and he's not playing. There's right. no squash in that. Ain't no ce- yeah. and you no, just said You celebrating it publicly. Mm-hmm. You celebrated the death of my family member. Two days later, you're dead. Mm. The YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Niggas that like to solve cases. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. He said this. He put this on Instagram. He smoked that pack. He died too late. The feds see all of this. But they not locking niggas up because now the record companies is recruiting this because the blood, the blood sacrifice. Remember, getting in the music industry in Hollywood, you have to have sacrifices, as they say. You covering too many topics. Yeah. You covering too many topics. No, I'm just let me. The, yeah. No, I ain't gonna go too the, fast. Right. But when the bodies drop, mm. that's the sacrifice. So it's like, oh, there's blood on the floor. Now we gonna recruit this little dude right here because he's hot. Mm. Not because we feel like he got talent. This nigga's more talented than all of them little niggas. Mm. We don't want this nigga. So we're going to play this. He's too old game. Why? Did you hear what he's saying? Did you hear him? Nope. We don't want him. We're going to corrupt the kids. And what we're going to do in the music industry is we're going to fade out anybody that resembles Rakim, that trickles down to Nas or anybody that represents the grandfather me, or the go- too. We, we just, I, I'm busy. <laughs> just talk about the it. grandfather. <laughs> Damn, the godfather. I'm just talking about because it. one thing about it, you got to keep in mind: these little girls and little boys are still looking for a father figure. That's it. And the reason why they're not changing because these old niggas look like them and they like I can't identify with you. Right. Mm. They ain't nothing grown in your aura. Okay. If you still stuck in my timeline. Oh, okay. I remember, I ain't gonna say your name. I'm gonna leave league alone. Like us. Yeah. Me, We're leading you. When me and my primies <laughs> was in the street, right? Right. We used to look up to a dude that was running shit at 30 years old. And we used to say, yo, this nigga's a clown. We ain't, I'm not gonna be like him when I'm 30. We saw past him. Wow. In our era, we had the Bill Cosby's to show us what the family life, we had good times. Mm -hmm. That J.J. Evans fall for that real strict, so we knew what a man was supposed to be. We grew up on Sundays in grandma's house and and grandma's living room with grandma's cooking. Going to church. Now we got grandma. What the, what the fuck is camera? <laughs> like, yo, do you know what it feels like to go to school and your mother's on Instagram and your, no, not your mother, your grandmother yeah. is on Instagram in her panties. Grandma was more hot now. It's they like, yo. Better. You said grandma was the more the hot now? They look oh, better. Nah. They look better than before. <laughs> Let me tell you, grandmother was, no, 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 no realistically. Like, like, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we get it. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In case you don't know. Yeah. It's a trap. It's really a trap, bro. Mm-hmm. It's all set up. Let's corrupt these little motherfuckers, get them in jail, or kill them off. Either way, we win. We get their property. We get the area. We get everything. We get them to work in jail for like five cents a day, mm-hmm. making shit that we going to sell for thousands of dollars. Wow. It's a trap. 
But it been if a trap, you though. If you on line banging, you in a trap. It been a trap, though, because everybody been, Not like this? We, we Never been, like this. We've been going to jail. Your, your man got body. Your other man went to jail. What's the difference? No, 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 Be no. Your no, got no. body. Your other man, T-Mac, is in jail. No, What's but, the difference but, but listen, right now? But here, hold it's up. just the internet. That's listen, what I'm trying to listen, tell you. The, the young niggas go after the internet. The difference is... Your hold, vice was drugs up. and guns. They vice is the internet. No, but this is what you have to understand. It's no different. It's just the time. The difference is... the You can't compare your error with this. That's what That's what a lot of older people... People do wrong. You try to compare what you was doing and say niggas are dumb now. No, you was dumb in your era too. Hold up, let's yeah. see. All right, let me you, show you. You were dumb so in your era me, too. So now let me show Can't you the difference. Right? No, you're not no smarter than him. So no, 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 no. You know what the difference is? The difference if our generation is the smart niggas. I don't want to, and I, when niggas be sitting up there saying he hiding in his house, absolutely. I know the feds is watching me. Mm. I know. So now knowing that I have all the elements against me, I tell people, live your life like you're on the run and stay dangerous. And that's true. When you go to the store, because mm. I don't want nobody to be a sucker. It's not sweet outside. Exactly. Right? That's why I put the stay dangerous. Yeah. Because I'm not sitting up there. I, I'm not, I don't want to come off as a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time that <laughs> I, ain't gonna even, I have issues right now. That I'm waiting to come back to haunt me right now. That's 2021. Exactly. 2021. A lot of these dudes, these rappers that's running around right now, that's talking about, and you ain't never outside of you. Nigga, you ain't shot nobody in 2021 or 2020 or 2019. Mm. You're not active. You're outside because you live a nightlife and this is how you get paid. Mm -hmm. Facts. Right. I'm outside traveling and shit is still happening. Mm -hmm. I don't have a security team around me. Ain't even trying to get a security team around me. I just move militant. Mm -hmm. And that's it. But the difference is between this generation and our generation, you have people that's conscious, that's smart, and then you have dummies. The caliber of dudes that come from where I come from. Mm -hmm. But when you call them dummies, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know why they're dumb. <laughs> like, well, you know why they're dumb. Everybody's you not dumb. Is, dumb what what makes like... you dumb is, right? In my generation, when Tupac killed Raheem, Bishop killed Raheem. Movie. Yeah. Movie. No, no, no. That movie was based off of real life. Movie. That talk movie, about real shit. That don't movie talk about movies around me. But don't take away from my message, it, though. I'm my not, generation. Right. Right? Yeah. I always tell people, a lot of the times when the body drop, the nephew is hugging auntie mm -hmm. after he killed her son. Mm. I know a thousand situations where you never know the murder was never solved. These niggas want the murder solved. They want to promote the drama. They want everybody to know no that they got... That, what was, it's listen, a trap. You no, still no, missing no, the no, trap. Message, no, no, hold on. I'm going to break the whole shit down. What led you to the Zulu Nation mm. was family. What led me to the Hebrew Israelites mm. was family. Right. You feel what I'm saying? What's leading them to whatever set or gang is family. They all want to belong. We wanted to belong when we right. was young. Mm. And, it, and it led us to situations where yeah. we put too much responsibility on a situation that we shouldn't have. Where we should have been thinking more about ourselves, but it was more about being accepted. It was more about belonging to something. They're doing the same thing. The only problem is... They have this. And if you walk down the street, nine times out of ten, you're gonna see people just like this. Yeah. Walking. Don't know, don't even ain't even paying attention to where they're going. Motherfuckers almost getting hit by cars, all types of Facts. shit. Like this. Yeah. They're addicted. Times is this different. This is a drug. So they're paired with trying to fit in and they're addicted to this. See, and that's what's fucking them up, bro. But see, my whole thing is but right. You can't, but but I'm, I'm saying this to say you can't the game. call them dummies because they're missing something. Your kids got you. Facts. My kids got me. And my kids got me. Mm. They not Real going to fall victim Real to the talk. regular shit. Nah, but you know why I say dummies? It. Because one thing y'all missing and he's missing is that all these little niggas is not on camera and they still catching bodies. Mm. The smart ones...
off is camera, catching offline. bodies and not all of these little niggas is not on camera yeah. and all of them ain't rappers neither mm -hmm. and some of the rappers that is rapping that's catching bodies don't even rap about the bodies mm. that's what i mean when i say the dummies mm. there's ones out there out of these generations that's catching bodies that Leaving nobody even know that they the ones that's catching bodies but they you people. and usually hold up usually behind the niggas in the limelight it's the, it's like the like with Quando Rondo right right Little Tim was that nigga. He was the one. Behind that was really the one. Quando Ronda was the big mouth on the camera. There's always one that's smart behind the scenes that ain't making all the noise. Right. The dumb ones want to be known for the body. The smart ones is going to catch the body. And even if he go to jail, he may beat it or get less time because they can't prove that he did it. These, there's young boys out here that's smart, that's still in pain too. And then there's other ones out here actually telling you, yeah, I shot him in front of the daily. Mm. Yeah. No, right. And that's in any generation. It was our generation, it's the younger generation. We are molded by who raised us. So if you're being raised by the right people, you, you act in the right way. And our generation, my generation, you had us the way we was paid more attention because that was because the older guys was on it. One of the things we couldn't do in my generation yeah. is no, it's like one of the mistakes we have is it's not a competition. Like, you know what I'm saying? We all in the same thing. It ain't about your generation against my generation. Facts. If you think in that way, that is it's like already, it's yeah, yeah it's the same shit. That's the point. We are all being broke down. You know what I'm saying? The giant is being broke down in different ways. So we you thinking that, that stops it though, right there. Now the problem we have is respect. Respect is what's been lost in your generation. Yes. And my generation, we had to respect the dudes that was older than us. Because mm. they would have beat our ass. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You mm. couldn't that it, that that didn't fly. Mm. And our generation, it ain't we don't really lay hands on, on the younger generation. We mm. let dudes just, you know, go ahead. I lay hands on them. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put hands on them. That's why I don't have a problem with them. I'm talking about my generation, which would be in the guys in their 40s yeah. to the younger guys. We yeah. didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of us got locked up. A lot of us wasn't there, yeah. you know, present. As an older brother in that yeah. time, I we got you. broke down in the crack era. Yeah. The 90s hurt us. Very bad. bad. Nah. So by the time y'all became of age, we were not even around the way we should have to put you in the headline. Exactly. Pull up your fucking pants, nigga. Yeah, that yeah. shit don't look cute. Yeah. You think you tough? To deal with that, let's go over in the corner and show you you're not tough. You think you can fight? Let me show you you can't fight. Your generation ain't get too much of that. Our generation did. You know why? The problem it's is, true. what I try to break down... See, in New York, which don't happen in Chicago, like, it's a, like if, if, if the feds hit Chicago the way he, they hit New York, wow. in New York, That's another thing. what the feds did was they hit, the, they, they, they hit certain generations. Yeah. Exactly. Then, what, then what they did was they said, yo, they started hitting them rapidly, so it left a wedge, in the, a gap in the street between the generations mm. where, was the, where they took the discipline. Right. Mm. This generation had no street discipline. No discipline. So now they doing anything because the discipline Absolutely. is missing and lacking. The feds hit New York so hard, they went back to back to back. A hundred dudes here, 30 dudes here, came back, caught 55 more here, and they kept on hitting New York like that to where I sat back and I've been watching throughout the years. If they did the same thing, in Chicago, they would have broke up a lot of these murders that was happening. Absolutely. But they exactly. couldn't do that. You know why? Because they actually perpetuated the murders by pushing the drill music. Drill music is the beginning of the end of hip hop. The beginning of the end. It's the beginning of the end. Well, you got to understand something. We about to get deep with this for a second, right? Mm -hmm. We living in a day and a time, right? Where we going out of chaos comes order. We could clearly see that the, the, the chaos in the street is being manipulated. We living in a time where, if back in our days, how many banks would have been robbed with all these masks running around? <laughs> right. But now, but, but, the, look, but see, look at the caliber of dudes. All the dudes that raised me robbed banks and did time for it. Now we living in a, in a, in a day and a time where the caliber of dudes that's running around 
Everybody got masks on, but not one bank is getting hit. Because you don't have to they rob a bank. Each other. But, but listen, but, but listen. Niggas got other. money like a bank now without but, rob, having but, to rob but a listen, bank. It's just it. a, but, but, but listen, understand something, right? There's no money in the bank anymore. But listen, understand, son. No, the, 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 like jewelry, jewelry stores. <laughs> like <laughs> it's different. The, the scamming is up. The yeah. scamming is up. Not the scamming is up. Scamming is crazy. Scamming is crazy. Scamming is crazy. That's why I keep trying to scam. I'm not knocking him. I'm not knocking him. He be out of tune sometimes. I be, I be not the man. I be out of tune. Scamming is crazy. Scamming is crazy. Yeah, but you know what? 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 Like, <laughs> like, okay, there's not cash in the drawer, but the safety deposit boxes are still back there. Like, Let me tell you something. Well, here's, 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 you here's, can't tell me ain't no cash in the no, drawer no, no. when I'm going in the bank and I'm pulling out twenty thousand out of time. But when you could do, but when you, but when you could do a scam for twenty bands in one day, That's what's, what it is. what's running up in the bank, risking. Right. Understand what I'm saying? Right. Well, you know what? That's the white collar. 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 Listen, but the dumb group niggas are still dumb group niggas out there. They ain't smart enough to do the white collar that still ain't robbing the banks. And they get their head popped off. To, it's always going to be mostly. a bank robber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But wait, this, this is important. Mm -hmm. And this is to you kids, too. Mm -hmm. That scamming thing was our crap. So what y'all don't it is. know is mm -hmm. y'all about to get... Oh, no, it's been happening already. Yo, that they already, yeah, it's, yeah, it's they already been happening. Yeah, yeah. That's involved in that scam and shit. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They take y'all out. Paper trail. Absolutely. Paper trail. Absolutely. The trap back. has already been Absolutely set. Absolutely agree. Just like with the music. Drill music is going to be the death of hip hop. I'm going to tell you why, right? If you paying attention to how everything is trickling down, right? Just watch. We are going in a time, and we are living in a day of time where China has the social credit. Where if you say something against the government, your, your credit is bad. Uh, this, this, this new world order, out of chaos comes order, is going to trickle down to everywhere. Mm. China owns America right now. Yeah. Niggas don't even understand yeah, that. Yeah. Mm. Black people is the debt. Mm. Money is fake. So after they get in the land, which they're getting up a lot of the land, you got Bill Gates buying up farmland, right? He buying up the farmland. And you got um, Disney buying up land so that you can't, and you got other corporations buying land so you can't exactly. buy houses no more. Exactly. So every time, like people that are selling houses right now are selling houses for double and triple the money mm -hmm. because they're weaning that out. In the minute, after they finish breaking everything, they're going to go back to all these deaths that's happening through drill music. They're going to ban hip hop. R&B has been faded out on purpose. Mm. We grew up in the era of so many. It was nothing like hearing Mary J. Blige reminisce on yeah, the... Yeah, love. Yeah. Where is love. this? The yeah, where balance... Is Where's so the now, love? Like, like, yo, Where's yo, the son, love? You mean to tell me... Who's talking about love? That if I want to smash a shorty, I got to smash a shorty to Chief Keef? Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hitting, I'm gonna be hitting the shorty, hitting the shorty to 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 the homie K Flock or Zay Money. Shout out to them, like my little niggas, like <laughs> yo, <Whoa. laughs> yeah. Where is, no, that's no balance. Yeah. The balance is purpose, purposely being removed. Mm -hmm. The Earth has a frequency. Mm. We are off balance, all of us. Mm. When you tip this Earth too much, what, what's happening in La Palma? The volcanoes erupting. Yeah. Everything is out of balance. When you go into a pond or a fish tank and you take that net and you catch that fish and you take it out that tank, that fish suffocates. Black men are supposed to be in a state of righteousness, whether you believe in religion or not. Right. Yeah, true. That's why we get spanked the hardest mm. when we do something we ain't supposed to. Mm. We get spanked the hardest. Mm. Oh, white people do this, so we should. We're not supposed to do what they do. Mm. It's not in us to do what they do. Right. Oh, well, what, 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 a, what, a, what a white man slept with a sister. Well, why don't you go sleep with yours too? Since you want to do, so you in the incest, so you in the incest too. Everything they do, we play. That's what we gonna play. Monkey see, monkey do. Well, 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 the white man didn't get locked up for molestation. So let's keep all the molesters in your house and not mine. How about that? Mm -hmm. hmm. We gotta stop playing. The earth is unbalanced, and when it gets too unbalanced, you see what happened. So now, according to their laws, out of chaos comes order. In a minute, the dollar bill is going to be gone, right? You watch the, you watch the movie Demolition Man, they told yeah, you yeah. exactly what the new world was going to be. Money's changing. They showed you what the unvaccinated was going to be, the people under the cities with no food coming out stealing. Mm -hmm. 
There is no money no more. Mm -hmm. So right. now this, the, the, the scammers and the drug dealers, I, you're going to have to learn how to get with the, the credit system, the no money that you can't touch. Mm -hmm. When you can't I, dig in your pocket. I got to say, the scammers are kind of slowing that down. And you got to you got to The dollar something. bill disappearing. This right here. The scammers are kind of slow. When you go in the store, you can dig in your pocket and say, all right, <laughs> let me buy X, Y, Z, right? You could pay. They don't know what you're getting. Yeah. But they created a system. A a you're not going to be a store clerk. A but hold up. That's where you mess up. I'm getting it. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm getting to that. You're talking to a computer. Listen, no. I'm getting to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, everything now, is digital. Now, now, listen. So now, Everything going to be digital. Now we're at the point where when you go in the store, right? Mm-hmm. Everything is, and they watching and monitoring. When you go to the store and you shop, they know exactly how much food you have in your house because you're using the rewards card and you're giving them your name and your number. Okay. You're using your card so they know how much food you have, how much it's going to last. Right. They know what's in your diet. They, they, know, whether you got, they know whether you got diabetes. Mm -hmm. They're tracking everything that you do. Yeah. Your cards now, your ID cards is coming with chips in them. They know everywhere mm -hmm. you're going. Mm -hmm. This is the new system. It's yeah. the reward system. Yeah. Right now, these cameras on the street corner, once they upgrade the app and tell the police it's okay to use it now, they'll be able to see your pistol on your waist. Oh, no, no. That's already out. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, already yeah. out. They ain't using it yet, though. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. When they want to. <laughs> when they <laughs> want to. Yes, they They're are. not really using it right they, now. They're taking it on test runs. They're just not telling you how they knew. Yeah. No, what they're doing right now is they tell, they be, they be, they're being told to hold back because out of chaos come order. The crime rate is going to get worse than what you've seen. What we're seeing right now, this is, this, this is being master manipulated by them. And at the same time, Rikers Island is being closed down. Yeah. Dudes going to jail, getting caught with three guns, getting R and R for all three of them. Mm. At our time, that wouldn't happen. But this is what they wanted. So now you got you on your third gun, and they playing it. Yeah, it's the COVID. It's the COVID. When the courts open back up, these little niggas is done. Mm. Crazy. Some of our toughest soldiers, because yeah. people don't understand. I'm hard on these young boys. Because I'm supposed to. Mm. We always had the uncle that whooped our ass when we got out of line. Mm. Now you got these old ass niggas patting them on their back. If you touch the fire, you're going to get burned. Simple. The, I'm the uncle that's trying to save you. You see what I'm saying? The other dudes want to see you hit. It's like when you watch Minister Society. That old nigga that was with them young boys in yeah. Minister Society, yeah. he watched... And he should have seen that they was going to fuck their life up, but he didn't want to save them. Instead, he sat up there and played devil advocate with them. Mm. Look how Kane ended up. Look how Old Dog ended you up. Keep mm -hmm. old dog. Because, because <laughs> you, you keep talking about movies. Because you keep talking about movies. Because the movies, the movies, the movies shit, relate though. to the same shit that's going on in yeah. the hood. But it's still a, motherfuckers it's, is trying to live the movie but now. But it's, yeah. it's still a part of the problem because you got to keep everything. Our problem is that we don't deal with reality. Yeah. We always, our mind is always somewhere not here. Yeah. Like he's talking about something that he's not there. Mm. He's not with mm. little niggas all the time. You understand? So you don't understand what's going on. You don't understand the culture. I'm with these little niggas. So I understand. I used to be them. So it's a different type of understanding. No, it's not different than his time. Right. You know what I mean? The only the, the, the differences I do know though is social media yeah. and it's a different peer pressure. Mm. It's peer pressures in everybody's era. Mm, you know right. what I'm saying? But nobody's not better, nobody's dumber, mm. nobody's nothing. You can't say that. It's just because a if you want one. if you want to, if I play devil's advocate with these young niggas, they're doing better than the last generation because they're getting richer faster. Yeah, they're getting right. richer. So you got so you if you want to play that game, we could do that too. But I'm not even gonna do that because it's pros and cons to all, all us as it. black. Men, period. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We so, gotta get out of here. We gotta rebuttal that. Thank you. Thank you. Something you said. I gotta rebuttal that. just got mulled over. I gotta rebuttal that. You said we supposed to be in a state of righteousness. Mm. A state of righteousness. Right. Right? If we so, are, why, why would we fear all of this shit that they Why would we fear if they know we eat fucking carrots for dinner? Why would we fear that? Because the things that you eat in the most is what's being targeted in your food, in your cabinet. Because you're not growing it yourself. You're not growing it yourself. Yeah. So now they know what to tweak out in your neighborhoods because the same batch of food that you're getting in your neighborhood is not going to their neighborhood. That's a fact. Yeah. That's the problem. It's like they had a documentary, right? Mm -hmm. They took all the meat out of a prison system in a jail. The violence went away completely. Wow. By them taking the meat out. They know what they're putting in our meat. Mm. And see, my whole thing is, like, even to, to rebuttal what, what he's saying, right, with the, with the young boys, right? If you give them something to look up to, right, 
Because it's two sides, it's the yin and it's the yang. It's the good and the bad. If everything is one way, right? Because first and foremost, money's not everything, mm -hmm. right? Money doesn't change anything, anything except for make a nigga more of an ignorant nigga. Rich people so blow their brains out every day. So now, Word, my right. whole thing is, is like this, right? When I'm finished with my blueprint, them same young boys is going to sit up there and look at me and say, damn, like they're saying to me now, like, damn, I wish you would have been in my life 10 years younger. Because everybody in my life coached me and pushed me in the wrong direction. I refer to the movies because people can relate that way through the movies. Mm -hmm. That nigga in Minister Society, if he would have led them in a different direction, they looked up to him. They would have went in a different direction. Okay, we know that we tough. But there's, there's, plenty, there's, there's plenty of guys like that. There's no the reason, heart. there's no reason for us to show you that we tough. Yeah. When I'm around my young dudes, they're disciplined, they're very militant. They're very quiet. There's other young dudes. You go out with them, the place getting shot up. We didn't come here for that. Uh. But as soon as somebody looked the wrong way, you could get it. No, that's not what we came here for. You fight for A cause, not B cause. Mm. Right. So now when you start to realize, okay, you know what? I don't have to fight for this. This shit right here is whack. But did it take for you to have go through, t t through 10 years in jail and to lose 20 of your friends to realize that you was fighting for nothing the whole time? I had to realize, like, when, when shit finally hit me and I said, you know what? I'm done with the streets. I had to, I had to teach myself. First of all, the last homicide I went, to, I went to jail for, right? This is one of the main reasons that made me fall back from the streets. Because I promised when I was in jail praying. I was sitting up there, oh, Lord, please. Just give me a chance. I'm in my house. Waiting for a package. I was supposed to go to a funeral with my wife. I missed it. So I went home to wait for her. Waiting on the package. That package I was waiting on, while that package was arriving and I was waiting on that, there was a body dropping in my building in Bronx River. Hmm. The, the apartment that the body dropped in, they left a witness in the apartment to say that I did it. Hmm. I went to jail for a homicide. The niggas that I was beefing with, Said, okay, we can't get this nigga, so this is how we going to deal with him. Mm. Now I'm in jail for a homicide that I didn't do. This is the third homicide I'm in jail for. So I knew I had to kill my reputation. Mm. Now, I'm, I'm, now I'm back in the streets. All of my immediate niggas got life in jail. I'm depressed. Now I don't really, like, it's like... These are my brothers. Right. I don't have friends. I have brothers. See, I put people in a category. Mm -hmm. You ain't, I don't have no friends. I make you family. Once you kill that, it's like, okay. Yeah, and I don't know you. So when everybody got snatched up, I'm the last man standing. Now I'm scared to death. I'm the worst one out of the whole fucking crew. Why am I going to keep putting myself in situations that's going to take me away from my kids? Mm -hmm. And that's the answer right there. Maturity. When you have a child, the first line of defense is your children. And see, what these dudes is not telling dudes, right? If you love me, the first thing you don't do, I had to tell a nigga just recently, right? When I got into a situation, he was like, yo, we're going to take care of this situation right now. I said, then kiss your kids goodbye. Nigga looked at me, I said, because there's a possibility you're never going to see them yeah, again. Mm -hmm. Facts. Now, if a nigga sat up there and told the little homies out here that really love their kids, mm -hmm. go kiss the kids goodbye before we roll into this car, you're never going to see them again. Watch how many of them don't come. Mm -hmm. Because the most painful the thing in the world yep. is when you in that cell. Yes. When I left Hassan Jr., he was four months old. Mm. Four months old, I left my little man in the streets. If somebody would have told me, when you leave out this house, and it's crazy, yo, I swear to God. Before I left, I told you, on the, I think it was the fifth, the fifth, Max got shot. Police already looking for me. Mm -hmm. Before I left the door, Eric called me on the phone. Eric in jail for murder right now, too. That was my co-defendant on one of the first bodies I had. Now he's locked up for life in Connecticut. Mm. He calls me on the phone. He like, yo, we in Boston Sea Corps. That's exactly what I did. 
Before I left the house, I, pray, I prayed to God. I said, God, please don't let me kill nobody. Goes to Boston Sea Car. I'm on a run for murder. They're going to run for murder. Mm. And all I can think about, like, yo, when I got from Connecticut, police came and got me, right? They took me to McDonald's. It's going to be the last burger you ever eat. <laughs> they played dirty. Didn't even let my baby moms, my moms and all of them coming inside the precinct, show me in the cage, my baby mother with my son. You know why. Trying to break me. You know mm. why. For what? Yeah. To tell on myself? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Something else you, know you might mean? know. Whatever you know what I mean? Is. Like, like, what? Because y'all saying I did it, so you wanted me to tell. So, and, this, and this is my thing. Right. And it's like, when you catch these young boys and you tell them like, yo. Kiss your kid goodbye. Kiss your kid goodbye. Yeah. Because in a matter of X amount of days, months, and weeks, it's going to be your turn for the feds or the, the district attorney to come get you. Mm -hmm. This is the shit that the OGs in the hood is leaving out there, manipulating these little niggas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Every generation had a pistol Pete. Mm. When me and Pistol was on Rikers Island, man, all that nigga wanted to do was be with his son. They, when he, he, he beat the body, mm. blew to the gun. He went home. When Pistol came back, he said, yo, all I wanted to do was spend time with my son, and that's what I did. Every federal agency got the first look at me. They didn't even know what the nigga looked like because we didn't have pictures. Mm. Niggas was low. All a nigga want when it's too late is for their child. But it's too late because you got to keep it real with the homies out there. Nah, I think, I think what people don't realize is when you have a kid, everything that you want for that kid, you really want it for yourself. Mm. And I don't think people get that. Motherfuckers still living the life. Like, but my, my kid ain't never gonna see none of this. Yeah. <clears throat> what you want for that kid is really how you should be living your life so that you can stay in that kid's life. You but know what's crazy though? Me, can I just... in, the, in the hood, the shooter is the most disrespected, most used and abused. The shooter's always broke. The shooter's always broke and misused. And angry. Mm. And angry. Mm. And it's always a nigga that don't love the shooter that's manipulating him. The, mm. shooter's all, the shooter's never really doing it for the money. He's doing it for the right-hand man nigga that's standing next to him that don't even love him. He's doing mm. it for the love. For the love. A nigga that don't love him back. Mm -hmm. And it's always like that. He's expendable. The shooter's the nigga, because I know this. That when these older niggas go, oh my God, when they on the boat rides turning up, you're not there with them at those kind of parties. Mm -hmm. Only at the clubs where the nigga shit might jump off and you might need the gun. Mm -hmm. So the shooter's the most unappreciated in the hood. Facts. You know, it's, it's, it's sad because um, coming up, I remember an army that uh, motherfuckers was trying to get me to join. And... You know, it's supposed to be a righteous situation. Mm. Everybody praise God. Everybody, you know what I mean? We militant, we praising God. But a lot of the situations that this army had to go handle was bullshit. Mm. It was motherfuckers arguing over blocks. But these motherfuckers, you know, you, you young, you part of this, you do what you told. You find out what it's over, this ain't righteous. Just be careful out there. The religious Burn. people, let, listen, let me Burn. tell you something. Burn. Religious people, religi Relig re religious people sometimes is the most devilish people on this earth. And sometimes you can use religion or religious people use religion to brainwash people. Yeah. Now, That's some of the most beautiful people in the world I've met is religious people, but just some of the be most beautiful people I've met is also criminals. Mm -hmm. In jail, I met some of the best niggas that I've ever, I've ever exactly. met that I love exactly. to death. Like, yo, this dude like is one of a kind. Some right. of the most talented minds in jail. You meet some of the most, the best people in jail, and then some of the people in the street is like, yo, it's real of people in jail than it out here. So right. it, 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 it depends on the person. Depends on the person. Hey, you were saying that uh, uh, sometimes the, the, the killer got more love than everybody else. He got a better, a better heart most of the time because his pain is what made him. 
But then you also have dudes that, that you got, you got like, it's like being in jail, right? When I was in there, when the, when, the, when the Bloods first started in jail, it was like, it first started off a beautiful thing because we had to Unity. hold it down. Right. We had to fight. But then when we started becoming the majority, the strength, you started getting niggas coming in there stealing sneakers. I ain't never stole nobody's sneakers a day in my life. Mm. So now you got homies getting it on over sneakers, and I'm not with that. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like it's, it's like certain things I just wasn't with. Right. I wasn't a dude that was running around robbing dudes for their commissary. Mm. Mm. That's not my thing because I feel like if I'm hungry and you hungry, like, no. Like, sometimes what we do is if we run in the house, like, all right, just um, donate some sodas. Everybody that come in, donate some sodas. And then if new people come in, you got a little care package we share. Because right. any of us could get messed up. But nah, it was dudes coming through like it was grimy. You got dudes turning blood because they wanted to sniff dope. Because they wasn't getting packages, so now the righteousness, like a lot of the do, a lot, a lot of the times, because the Muslims on Rikers Island wasn't getting into trouble, so a lot of those bloods was the Muslims and five percenters. So then, as it got grimy as it went along, it was like, yo, you Muslim and blood, like you was disgusting. Like, no, this is what started it, nigga. Y'all just left that out. It was all of us. Right. So now it's a it's a conflict of interest because the the battles, the brothers that still battling with their righteousness is looking at you sideways. Because of some of the grimy stuff that you in here doing, doing that. Right. Mm -hmm. Abusing the power. Abusing the power. And eventually in life, when there's nobody else to fight, the natives start fighting themselves. So, mm -hmm. And that's what's going on now. Right. Now, I've seen you um, do a couple blogs on Jim Jones. What, what, what's your argument there? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, my God. My biggest problem with Jimmy, and I, and I say this right, I'm a fan of his music. But what was the tipping scale for me was that conversation with him talking about Super Violate Takashi 6 9 That was it for me. First of all, I am the first YouTuber that went at the non Trey with Takashi 6 9 with them running with him. Because I was telling everybody that boy was not gangster. He was, a, he was a good kid that was pulled into the whip that didn't belong in the whip. In my generation, not near one dude that raised me would have right. even let him participate in anything that they did. Right. He wasn't a good kid, though. He, well, I'll, I'll say like this. He mm. was a good kid as far as like... He wasn't involved. No, he, wasn't he, was, he wasn't he built. Was a kid. He wasn't built. For the whip. Right. He was a kid that could have been exactly what he is. Did right? he have like rape charges and all type of stuff? Like prior before him coming even into Yeah, he, had, yeah, he, he, he definitely, and I spoke on that. Yeah, he was, I, have, I, have, I have videos on my own, on my page, not, no, on my page on that. Show, but when yeah. you say he's a good kid, well, good kids are not involved with rape charges. But also the Billies good knew that he did that not, too. Good kids and they still fucked him. Right? Well, let me, let, me, let me say this yeah. on, on his behalf, yeah. right? Because, you know, is that what it was? They still knew that he did that. Listen, let me say this on his behalf. I, I, I don't convict niggas without, let you me, know what I mean? Let, so me, let, I don't me, know. let me let me say this on his behalf, right? right? She was a young girl. He was young. He was older, a little bit older. The only reason why I forgive him, because we have to understand that he was still close in age as her, even though he was older than her. Old. That's like, for example, right? Mm. You can get locked up for being 18 years old with a photo of a 16-year-old, that's child pornography. They're the same age. So the girl was, he was a little bit older. Right. Shorty, okay, let's say she was a little fast, it's still wrong. Right. But I could forgive because the ages were so close. close. Right. Mm. So you, you can't Cause, make- Because eventually that becomes a 24-year-old and a 22-year-old. Yeah. yeah. And nobody's looking at that like right. that. Right. And there so, was older dudes involved. Yeah. So, older dudes than Sakashi that was involved with that. Wow. Who was really that went the, to, that, that went to jail. That went to jail. Went to jail. I know them personally. Yeah, that went to jail off of the case. You know I mean? So, you know, I wow. don't like, so, you know, things happen. I don't agree with it. I was the first one to spank Takashi on the internet for that. Everybody, you're a hater, you're a hater, you're a hater. So now you got Jim Jones on the internet talking about super violating a young boy that was kidnapped. Because when people sit up there saying he's a snitch, he's a snitch, I don't see it that way. 
He was never supposed to be in I'm always going to look at the beginning. He was never supposed, supposed to, to be, be in that with right. those caliber. Like, come on, you talking about Mel. You talking about Shooter. Ain't none of us are supposed to end up in the street where we at. Ain't none of us supposed to end up on the block hustling or doing anything that you're doing. But let me tell y'all something out there. If you end up there, you in it. Once you in it, you win it. You win it. You Lock done, the door. You pay the consequences Lock the door. for what you win. I'm not giving you that break. Lock the door. <laughs> you run up against once you walk like in, me, I ain't cutting you the that door break. Locks. The, the I ain't cutting you that break. Once you involve, you involved. If you want to stay out the street, stay on the curb. Mm. Once I saw him say, I got a 30 pack on the, I was that, like, oh, exactly where yeah, I was about to go. Yeah. Yeah. No remorse exactly for you. you about to go. No remorse for you. You running with gangs. You're a criminal. Exactly. You're a criminal now. He's a good kid. No, you listen, get what you got my, my whole thing, listen, I, I agree with everything y'all saying when it comes to that. He was a father that But whole at time. the same time, if Takashi 6 ix 9 was my father, I mean my son, I would be at war with all of them niggas because it wouldn't even matter. Because why would you pull this kid? Into the, he would that is not him. That's uh, what he wanted. Bro. He, you, you, listen, when you, when you say listen, the only the, hold on, hold on, listen, 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 the only the only reason I jump in is because when you say pull him, they didn't have to pull. He went running. He chose. I, he, he did the exact. Hold on, let he me manipulated just. He manipulated Dumbass. Nah, 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 nah. Just because, just because, he, he, just because. He was wait, wait, wait. He manipulated Just, just because, just, he, just because that. he had the wherewithal to start playing the game doesn't mean he didn't pick up the dice and roll them, bro. Like, you went. You decided. Everybody I've ever known who, who one of my worst, the worst phrases I hate in hip-hop is, I didn't choose the streets, the streets chose me. Yeah. I hate that shit. You chose. That's a lie, yeah. You nah. made a decision. Mm -hmm. Just like the first time you went out and decided to hustle, just like the first time you went out and picked up a I can't really gun, agree with that. The first time you went out and did it. Bro, I can't fully agree with that. Bro. You uh -huh. chose. He chose. He knew that was those with gang listen, members. Listen, listen, listen. Yo, let me, listen. What Takashi right, 6 well, right? Put it, let's put it this way. It's no different from, you see the shit that go on in Africa? Where they get them, them young boys? I got family members who've had to be in firefights with these people. With kids. And... They having nightmares to this day because mm -hmm. they had to put down kids. But if they didn't, them kids would have put them down. They you didn't choose that. Saying? You that's was for, that's the forced. environment, bro. Those kids are in it. That they don't know nothing else. That they don't boy know nothing else. chose. That boy chose. All right, all right, so, all right just, so listen. He chose, but I'm saying I'm, everybody right, so check it, don't. Right? The only, reason I, the only reason Check I say right? I don't like that Check. phrase is because it's abused by people who should not be using it. Mm. Yeah. True. Nigga, you chose. Yeah, 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 don't get the fuck out of here. So you chose. You knew it was a marketing scheme. He knew it was a marketing scheme. Back to what you said, he right? Went, right? He knew it was a marketing scheme. Let me say this. He said Takashi manipulated them, right? Mm -hmm. So now, based off of me being an OG and coming from a, 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 a certain frame of mind, right? Mm -hmm. If Takashi 69 was able to manipulate Mel and Shadi, then they then they are unworthy of being street generals. That's why they, they should be not street generals. That's where they where they at. They, they, wasn't they sleeping? Did that's they why they where they at. Wasn't they sleeping on the, in the apartment on the floor or something like that? They say Shadi was that ain't Shadi, no street general. Shadi, Shadi was going through whatever he was going Shadi through. I am not Mel from Brooklyn. I'm not gonna say what niggas are leaders. Was doing, whatever, whatever. Right. They but, are leaders of nine trade. To, to one of the most powerful sets. They're leaders of one of the most powerful sets. If a kid like him can manipulate grown men, then they're un the grown men on that caliber and that level. These ain't no weak dudes. Mm -hmm. If he can manipulate men of that caliber, then they are unworthy of their leadership and they should be stripped down, point blank, period. Because he cannot, leaders, because he can't, no, they were. And they were strong in the street. And, they and, wasn't leaders. They and wasn't leaders of the set because you were They were following Jim Jones. Exactly. That's they were it. Point, the, point, the, the money. Point, 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 point,
The money well, was I, well, the leader. Well, I'll tell you like this then, right? The money, the money was the leader. That's why he was able to manipulate that. You feel me? But they not going to admit that. You understand? That's that's the hard part to swallow when it comes to that. I was blood for a lot of years, bro. I just stopped fucking with all that shit like two summers ago. Because I, I seen it. You know, I, I was a part of the, the, the Star Brim Cardi situation. So that that situation right there showed me. And that and the Takashi shit was going on at that time. So it was a little bit of that spilling and I was hat. You know what I mean? But there was not a trade, but it was a little bit of that spilling in into the Cardi situation. Mm-hmm. So I seen it and I seen the cloud chasing. Like we say, like we argue about the errors. You understand? It was a certain point where from where he was GKB to when I came in, things changed and it did become about the bag. It did start becoming about music and about who's popping right. and about, you know what I mean? But it was a blurred line to where everybody was still on you on real right time, but people still got that hunger to want to be. You understand what I'm right. saying? So a person, that was why it was easy for a person like Takashi to just come. And no, I don't take nothing away from Mel. I, I don't take like, nothing away from Shadi. Like they were, they were there thorough. from the start. Yeah. When that shit hit the hood, I was walking around, checking niggas' shoulders. Yo, what are you, what are you doing? It's New York, bro. Like, what are you doing? Then New York didn't feel like the New caliber York. caliber of niggas that started stacking up. Yeah. Mm. And I was like, these is niggas that we would never hang with. That's why he got out the way. Y'all just want the numbers now? Yeah. Oh, you in the mix with a bunch of, you know what I mean? And they went from the numbers and they graduated to just the bag now. Like, fuck even the numbers. Mm-hmm. Like, we'll take one little nigga that's a Mexican or whoever, yeah. wherever he from. Yeah. We're going to let him ride the whip. He going to get us a bag. But I wasn't even mad at that. I was mad at, like he said, the leadership. I'm not mad at Mel and Shotty for getting a power move, but y'all was supposed to do what y'all was supposed to do with it. Right. Y'all wasn't supposed to do the same thing that we was doing before we he got to Gotham. He wasn't supposed to call He was supposed to call That's all I was saying. We supposed to use he, it he to wasn't build, supposed to build call our shot. shit up. Period. He wasn't supposed you, to call shot. Anything that Shotty wanted Takashi to do, he would do. Facts. Shotty, uh, Takashi 6 9 loved Shotty. Now, I can't say for sure whether Shotty slept with his girl or not, mm. but here's the reality, right? The boy was kidnapped by two of the most dangerous niggas in that shit. Right. That niggas is scared to death of. Facts. Right? That shit was all on camera, for one. For two, he said he found the text messages. Right? The boy broke down how when he got kidnapped, the only one that knew where he lived at was Shadi. All of these niggas is down with each other. You're not, Shadi's not the type of dude that you're just gonna step on his toes and rob his bank, because Takashi is his bank, mm-hmm. without there being a full-scale war. So now, you get the feds to come in and snatch dudes or whatever the case may be, and you see everybody's blaming Takashi 6 9 but the reality of it is Takashi didn't bring down that set. Jim Jones did with that phone conversation and CEO Chris, Chris. did. Yeah, because CEO Chris did. Takashi 6 9 got dragged in the middle of they shit. And remember, it was a indictment before that. My man CEO went down Chris mm. is on a phone conversation, mm. right? Free God, though. He on a phone conversation, two wiretaps. One with, uh, with, with, Sh- with Shadi in them, and then the other one with, 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 um, with Mel. Those are two different cases that's Facts. not even connected. Facts. Right. Those are two different indictments that Jim Jones is under. That's for one. For two, my biggest problem, all of this connects. When Jim Jones came out, he was a billboard for promoting Bloods. With Dipset, he spread blood throughout the whole East Coast. So what OG Mac did in jail, Jim Jones did in the street. And it spread like, I'm not going to take away what Pete did, because Pete brought some, some muscle to it, some structure to it, some muscle, right. but then took out his own muscle when he sent them for the Thanksgiving massacre. So Jim Jones just pretty much was the billboard for this. And throughout the time and era, what nobody ever speaks on, Jim Jones is a king, a ruler of Zamunda, right? Every king is responsible for his, king, his, his, his kingdom. Throughout the years, 
There is a thousand niggas in the penitentiary behind Jim Jones. And graveyards. And graveyards. So when it gets to the point where you sit up there and say, when do you sit up there and say, my last draw with him is after all of these dudes went to jail off of his wiretap, you still glorifying as a senior citizen rapper the same lifestyle that caused these dudes oh, to go on. to jail. Senior citizen, because we got to keep it all the way from you, man. When you go on, on 50 years old, you a yeah. senior citizen. Yo, yo, first of all. Niggas is 45 years old. As far as things go with Jim, Jim was... Just another dude wrapped up in that shit, bro. You can't look at it like, yo, he spearheaded. No, my nigga, he was the first nigga they put a, he might have been one of the first niggas they put a camera on, but he wasn't the leader of this shit. He wasn't the one nobody, responsible. Nobody, absolutely nobody, and I'm going to say this too, nobody mm -hmm. has been a billboard for the Bloods in the East Coast like Jim Jones. Now, here's the flip side. Casanova two times is in jail with bogus charges, but one of the main charges they have against him is that he was promoting gang life and gang activity through his music. Mm. So hold up, wait. You're going to sit up there and tell me that Jim Jones, the dude that got locked up down south, evading police with guns and drugs in the car, after a RICO Act law case, two federal indictments on two different cases with CEO Chris impl impl implementing him and others from his set, you, you, the, the feds, you, you, you talking about you want somebody super violated. The next case, you got dudes that's getting locked up just for being affiliated with Nontre. He's the leader. He gets around that? Here's the difference. Mm. Out of all the people that you mentioned, who got money to fight it? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, uh, who got money to fight it? They ain't even charge him. <laughs> they, they, they ain't even charge him. They ain't even charge him. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They ain't even charge him. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They ain't even charge him. I know he not talking about the same dude who house was just, just went into foreclosure that they took in Jersey. That was just broke until he just went, did the, the niggas was broke. Let's stop. No, 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 no. Niggas was getting their houses snatched. First and foremost, let's, no rich let's, dude. Let's be real. No you, rich dude go into foreclosure. That was one of their houses. One of them, right? One. One of them. Nobody houses rich dudes. One, one, you, can't, you, can't, you can't say that, bro, because rich people claim bankruptcy or bankruptcy. Shit yes, they all do all the time, all the time, and still be having the bag. Like, yeah, yeah I, I just needed to get. So you telling me? Yeah, you're not, yeah. Hold up. So you're gonna tell me that before you lose your house and, and mess up your credit? You gonna tell me you're not gonna sell your house and flip it? You know people flip houses, but nevertheless, even still, the feds don't care about your money because when the feds lock you up, they say, "Hey, come here, you. We're gonna freeze your money. Now you're broke. So whatever money you had, as soon as you getting caught up in gang activity, they grabbing your money. They're freezing it. They did. They do that to everybody that gets locked up. Jim Jones hasn't been charged, right? Mm -hmm. He hasn't been charged. When I sit back and I look at videos with Jim Jones with his son on his page, go to the video, at the lake house, it's Papa. He's on a boat playing with white kids, with white coaches and everything else at that lake that he's at. Mm. When he gets on camera, the senior citizen rapper that so many dudes went to the grave with, when do your conscience kick in and you stop putting up pictures of Mel? Images of Mel, yeah, free my nigga, black, 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 hold up, nigga. All these young kids is looking. Stack bundles died on his watch. Others died. You got legends ah, now. Ah, come on, bro. You can't blame him. Listen, what, what I'm man. saying is, based That's off the, of... Far Rockaway is his own listen, monster, bro. Based you off can't. of... Based off of... Listen to what I'm saying. Based off of the interview that Jaja did, speaking on behalf, I got to respect her testimony. Stack didn't have Brett like that. He wanted out of Far Rockaway. Max B, at the height of Jim Jones' career, had Bolin, was a multimillionaire. Stacks, I mean, uh, uh, Max B, who's writing this nigga rhymes, is doing robberies and ending up in jail for homicides. So now, how you gonna sit up there and tell me 
I'm a multimillionaire, and I'm not taking care of the niggas around me because they broke and they doing robberies. Niggas with money in their pocket is not thinking about a robbery. And he mm. never put not one artist out. On not one label. artist one. that he had. Everybody not one had everybody. He milked everybody. When dudes try to sit up there and say and, and talk about Jimmy's character, right? Let's talk about Jimmy's character. Shout out to Re- Cam though. Recently, hope I'm glad you said that. Shout recently, out to Cam, though. recently, Cam, right? They just Cam put everybody out. Recently, Cam, right? They just put Cam back out. That audio of Cam saying that when he got shot, the nigga that shot him threw up the rock sign, insinuating that Jay Z had him shot allegedly, right? Mm-hmm. How is it that? Jim Jones now, with all the hatred between, right, Cam, all the hatred between Cam and Jay-Z, you playing that Rock Nation, not to mention Desiree, 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 because everybody want to talk about Alpo, but Desiree took down two cartels. Mm. Mm. So now when it becomes the rap game, the same rappers that told us to stay away from snitching could actually hire federal agents to run their company and drug dealer rappers gang members can actually work and be managed by her you see the hypocrisy in the streets wait wait wait, wait. let me but let me ask you a question how do you play it how do you play it how do i play realistic by the rules Real, no 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 because there's street rules and then there's shit that makes sense the mob always had the police involved always had somebody on the tape. You said the police, not an informant that took down two cartels, they killed them. The mob, if, see the mob, the mob played by different rules. Mm -hmm. If the mob knew that you brought an informant into the business, Mm -hmm. they whacked you and the informant. Mm -hmm. The mob played and had police on the payroll, not an informant that took down two drug cartels. This woman took down two two drug drug cartels. cartels. And she's not hiding. So that justifies it? No, I'm just asking. Because she's not because hiding. Because uh, think but, about that. Think about that real quick. She took down two cartels and she's not hiding. You don't know who she really is. You feel what I'm saying? What I'm saying, what I'm saying is I do know who she is. I know who her man is. Her man is a major drug dealer. I'm not gonna say his name. A major drug dealer, mm. major drug dealer, Jay Z's right hand man. I know it's. I'm not gonna put his name out there. So we know. So it's like when you sitting. When it comes to celebrities, the rules change. So I tell niggas there is no rules. That's why I tell people now, don't call. Me, oh, you supposed to be a real? Nope, I'm not a real nigga. Mm. Don't call me a real nigga no more. It doesn't exist. Everybody can fit into, into the category of a real nigga now. Mm-hmm. We know where it, where it originally come from, but there's no rules anymore. Rules is bent. Because Takashi 6 9 is the worst nigga in the world. But Desiree Perez is running out of court buildings. She's coming in and out of court buildings with Meek Mills, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa what is this? Now, wait, how can wow. you give a pass or a semi pass to Takashi? Saying he shouldn't have been in the whip in the first place. But look at Desiree with, with his limited amount of information on what's going no, on. No, it ain't. That shit. You better do your homework. It's all on the internet. That's why Dame Dash said me and Jay-Z can never mess with each other because he got to explain to me what he's doing messing with Desiree Perez. Mm. Uh, hold that down. Mm. Dame said no. He said until we fix that and figure out what he's doing with her, we can't. Because these are the rules. So Dame is sticking to the, the rules. rules. to what? <laughs> when you got Obama on the fucking text, my nigga. What rules right. are you playing so by? So now, so we now. We still playing by street rules? So, and I'm so, so listen, the president? So listen. <laughs> are we still so, doing so it? So now, you we not doing my, that no more, He just right? answered my question. We not nah, doing we're not that no more. So hold up. So based off of the fact that there is no rules no more, I could show Takashi 6 9 love. Well... That's the acorn. Based off of the, the fact that That's the there is no rules, if, rat and is, is, if, if, if DEA informants and rats and everything is accepted, we all can accept. Like, for example, right? I, I had a conversation with one of the most dangerous dudes that I know. Mm-hmm. And he messed my head up when I asked him about Alpo. And this is before Alpo died, right? I was at a barbecue and I was talking to him. He was like, yo, 
I still got love for Alpo. He ain't tell on me. And I, yo, and coming from him, I was like, this is one of the dudes that told me I can't mess with rats. And not to rat under no circumstances. Right. But there's an exception to rats. So now, for me, Takashi 69 is my uh, exception because I feel like he was kidnapped into a lifestyle that he shouldn't have been into by grown ass men. By, 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 no, but listen, listen, everybody to each his own, right? right? If everybody can 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 pick and choose who can play with rats, and I'm not saying now hold up. See, my whole thing is the only thing I want to do with Takashi 69 is make him understand that for one, he needs to stop playing. Like he's still in that lifestyle because it's not yours. I'm not looking to do a drive-by with him. I'm looking for, for him to use his voice to tell the other kids, like, yo, you could be yourself. Yeah. The kid with the colorful hair. Yeah. Be this yourself, is, don't cheat yourself. This is what I want from Takashi. The only thing I want from Takashi is for him to understand. You can be that kid with the colorful hair. But because I want to say this to him, oh, you playing with a rat? I've never met Takashi. Had a phone conversation with him. And my conversations to him is as of a mentor. Yeah. I would never do with him or to him what Shadi and them did with him or to him. Mm. There's no reason. Anytime, it's, it was, anytime it was time for me to put in work, there was a certain circle where I did it by myself of, of dudes of that same caliber that this is what they do. Conversations, pillow talk with women about who you shot and what you shot. Unless they seen that shit, it's not part of the conversation. Right. Mm -hmm. So a dude like Takashi 69 is in that category. These niggas wanted something else, wanted to do something else. They wanted him to rep this blood stuff, and they wanted him like 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 um, what's the brother name? Um 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 Frank Stan. Um, Snow Billy. Snow, Snow Billy. Yes. Right. Snow Billy was dealing with Snow Snow Billy was dealing with him first. Right. And Snow Billy made it clear that's not what he wanted for them for Takashi. That's why they wanted him out of the way. He's not supposed to be doing this. Mm. Mm. So now you pull, like, first and foremost, who in they right mind, right? In they right mind. Got a kid. Took you from, from what they said. He was sleeping on floors and carpets and shit like that. Mm. Mel called Shadi a cockroach, a water bug, on a federal wiretap. He called them a water bug. So this is what these niggas felt about each other. Cutthroat Island. Right. Mm -hmm. You got a kid that got y'all flying to some of the best islands you will ever see. Millions in your bank account. Mm -hmm. Sleeping with women that you like on a different level. How you fuck up that bag, that brand. Mm -hmm. Then you got a nigga like Jim Jones. Instead of saying, yo, go get shorty, have a conversation with him or better yet. Before y'all even made it this far. This is the godfather, Jim Jones. When did you use your voice to say y'all wildin' with this little nigga? How? These dudes, how? I know, no, you're not gonna get away how? with saying how. how. He's on the phone telling them to super how? violate him. So now he can't sit up there and say shape them, mold them in a Shoot better way. Security? No, no, no. Shoot the security. Shoot the security. We forgetting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We forgetting that. Are you shit? She popped during the whole Chirac era. The whole Chirac era. The, end, the ending All of the it. the shit that was going on. That was fucking. It was the it was hot it. cakes it for was, anybody it was who wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Anybody who hashtag Chirac. Oh shit, my shit just blew the fuck up. Yeah. He, they're looking at that. Why is this shit so hot? We need to get a piece of that. Yeah. They pushed him towards that type of shit, bro. No, and then they actually involved him in stupidity. Like first and foremost. Let's keep it 100, right? They involved him or he involved him. Why is CEO Chris even in the picture? If Takashi 69 is getting half a million dollars a show, yeah. why is CEO Chris the agent that took them down even in the picture? For one. For two, why is Jim Jones on a federal wiretap telling Mel... His, the dude that's under him, under Nantre, shoot the security, super violate him. You ordered a hit on civilians. Mm -hmm. 
That's not what on a federal. Not, yeah. No, actually it is. In, in, in the conversation, it, it, the com- yes, you're, 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 you're telling a lie. It's on. A, it's on the internet. What we happened, can play it right what now. What actually happened was a suggestion. A suggestion. You cannot take a suggestion in a federal courtroom. He gave a suggestion. Giving an order and a suggestion is two different things. Right. What makes a difference between an order and a suggestion? Because a suggestion is your choice to do it. I'm not telling you to do nothing. Niggas need to start I'm telling you that you don't say to do it outside. You should go punch him in the face. Yo, do you? But it's a difference if I got the power to tell you that dude outside go punch, punch him, him in, him in the, the face. face. Mm. Right. Do you real, do you things. realize that there's dudes in the feds doing life for less than that? Do I actually have to go into the books and show you how many dudes they is didn't in jail? Have the money to fight it. Listen, that's a lie. Ooh. There's plenty of dudes that's in the feds that had the money to fight the to fight the feds. When you go to jail in the feds, you don't have money no more because they freeze your accounts. Mm-hmm. Jim gonna, Jones, Jim Jones, like first of all, so you're gonna tell me Jim Jones' career pretty much. He was at a downslide right now. Casanova two times is at the height of his career. So they charged Casanova two times right now. They charged him with a picture of a gun. They didn't catch the nigga with a gun. They charged him with a picture of a gun. They charged him for marijuana that he ain't even get caught with. But you, and, and but they, you understand, Casanova is associated hold up. with hold up. A, a group of people that <laughs> caused fucking public shootings in New York City. And I thought they tracked his money and, and I thought they tracked his text. And Jim Jones is affiliated with a set who everybody that got locked up under that set under Mel was because they was gang affiliated and Jim Jones is the big homie and he publicly announced that he's the big homie. Casanova two times is being charged with promoting gang activity. That's one of the main charges. The people that are down with him is working against him. The people that are down with Jim Jones are not working against him. That's true, too. And another thing, I'm going to speak on 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 Jim's behalf real quick. And I'm a, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna play devil's advocate with Jim because I used to be around him mm-hmm. and I and one thing that I know about Jim and I I, I I have the same type of feelings that he got for Jim so me saying this doesn't benefit nothing towards you know anything personal yeah. it's just that I know him and I'm gonna keep it hundred with him Jim didn't even want to hear about nothing illegal when I used to be around him. Like, if you used to even say, start talking some crazy shit, he'll go the other way. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So, I understand why he's not. I don't feel like he's telling. I don't feel like yeah. he's anything with the federal yeah, I don't, shit. I don't get that either. Because I've been in paper. I've been in niggas' indictments. I've been in live brimming them shit because I used to be out, whatever, whatever. If niggas just talking. Niggas talk. Niggas put niggas' names in. They might have seen a nigga one or heard somebody made a sale. It's... Shit like that happens, you know what I'm saying? As far as the federal wiretap shit, that's him, like you said, it was a suggestion, he said what he said, no security actually got hurt, yeah. nothing never happened, so I can understand it, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's just like, what, what Haas is saying, what I agree with you on too, is that as far as what you said as Casanova, is when you go back and you said the shit about niggas being dumb, and the, 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 the code of conduct from error to error. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As far as what's going on with law enforcement from that time to this time. You know what I'm saying? Casanova, like you say, he's locked up because he was dealing with certain people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and Casanova was saying certain things himself that I heard on interviews. So I'm like, wow. Yeah. You said you saying that? A little too much. Yeah, I, yeah. I go front. When I saw um, a, a Vlad interview on becoming the biggest gangster in yeah, Flatbush. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that was crazy. A lot of attention. And uh, if you know, like I know, what Vlad person, interviews. Uh, Vlad interviews uh, always catch you though. Going, Vlad man. interviews yeah. again. Like, Vlad, yeah. I, I, I know his big Vlad only interviews to catch like, you off there. That's but, but, but for the record, <laughs> I don't. I don't want people to blame blame Vlad either. Mm. No, 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 no. But his no, interviews no, catch everybody the same way. Shadi, Mel, Takashi, yeah, who, whoever, everybody's ever been involved with anything. All these motherfuckers is just looking for the meal ticket. Mm-hmm. Five, that's it. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. If any, if if you was to put one leader on this on every situation, it's money. Mm-hmm. That's a it's fact. Money. And that's that's the trap that, that that brings everybody down. Everybody chasing the bag. 
cloud chasing, letting things happen that wouldn't cloud normally chasing. happen. That's why I left it. See, I, I used to love being blood. I used to love being in the game for the unity. You right. know what I'm saying? I used to like all of us to click up together and be able to do so. And I dreamed of having a Cardi B, and having a Takashi, mm -hmm. having a... Because that was the next level from the strength. It mm -hmm. was the strength. Then the next level was the bag right. to clean solidify. Our, yeah, clean and bread. we could have built our own economy. That's yeah. what I looked right. at with clean that. Bread. But then dudes started doing stuff like left. selling out for left, for food stamps. Mm -hmm. And you know, you understand They're what I'm saying? And, it just, and people going to jail and losing their life and... Over stuff that's just not, we're not even moving militant. One, yeah, one, of, the yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the most you know powerful saying? moments in my life, I had an um, a, a, a elder named Simeon, rest in peace. He came to my neighborhood and he lined us all up in one line and made us walk around the block. And if you could see how people looked, like, what's going on? People coming over, yo, what's going on? What y'all doing? The power strength in that organization. We talk, I'm talking about like 19-year-olds lined up, like 20 of us, just walking, single file. Mm. And it just it just grabbed everybody's attention. Sound like on some Malcolm X type you, stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And he said to us, you see how much power y'all got? Mm-hmm. When y'all organized. Now you see how you just said that? My number one gripe with Jimmy is not just him telling. It's the cause and effect. If Jim Jones decided to clean up his image a little bit, he might save about 50,000 kids that's looking up to him. I think that's what and he's that's, doing. And that's my biggest... He is. But Jimmy just started because of me getting on his ass. Because if you know, yeah, <laughs> and a lot of you dudes, you would have fucked a lot of dudes. You a lot of dudes, you 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 a lot of dudes are starting to wake up. A lot of a lot of people on social media, I'm changing the narrative and the energy. Right. Just like when I sit up there and I talk about the dirty section of YouTube, mm. now people are finding themselves not really wanting to be in the dirty section of YouTube. <laughs> so now I'm starting to see things that Jim Jones is actually doing. Like for example, I just seen a video. With his son. Okay. Hanging out with his son. That's the type of shit that make me teary-eyed. Mm, right. It's not enough kings out there. Mm. Jim Jones is a ruler of Zamunda. Mm. Now you showing your soft side. Mm. Jimmy hanging with his son. Now you got dudes on the street corner like, yo, I got a son that's like 19 years old too. I need to go Let me go him. hang with him. Mm -hmm. Right. The village is missing. Love is missing. Right. So when you get these dudes, like, you, you notice I keep talking about the lobby boys, right? I talk about um, the nightlife, the nightlife, right? Mm -hmm. When I broke down in my video, the nightlife, Mano talks about, he used to talk about the nightlife, went to the lobby boys. So I broke down the nightlife. The nightlife is when the, the, the casting over two times, huh? Tax Stone, Troy Ave, they end up where? In the club, the nightlife. The brother got murdered. Rest in peace, banger. Rest, Rest in peace, peace banger. banger. Rest got, in peace, banger. Got murdered in the nightlife. Right? He got murdered. Tax Stone, 10 years in jail for the gun. Now he about to fight the body. Young lady with um, young lady with 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 um what 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 what's the brother name again? Um Mano. Mano with Mano. Right. The young lady with Mano gets shot in the club. Yeah, yeah. And my whole thing that I wanted the people to understand is no matter how many soldiers Mano had with him that night, he couldn't protect that female in the nightlife. Mm. This is what comes along with the nightlife. So when dudes brag about, yo, every time I sit back and I listen to Casanova during the COVID, <laughs> we outside. Oh, you thought the feds was a game? So now you, <laughs> we outside in the cameras. While COVID is going on, after you niggas just had a shootout mm. in the Barclays and you thought the feds was going to let you get over, you laughing in their face. You're playing with fire. COVID is, 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 is something that they're serious about. Right. And you breaking their rules. Mm. So now shortly after you, uh, uh, you just called their COVID fake. 
Anybody and everybody that played with COVID done lost their platforms. <laughs> <laughs> I done lost, like, I done lost, oh, wow. I lost a few hundred thousand dollars. Right. I lost a few hundred thousand dollars right. talking about COVID. Yeah. Right. So yeah. now I see how they make you sell your soul right. without selling your soul. <laughs> okay, you ain't got to sell your soul, but you're not going to eat. We, we the baby sat up there and said, all he said was, light, light, uh, uh, light. If, if you're not gay, if you ain't a man that want to be with another man, yeah. and boom, how many millions he lost in concerts? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? They brought him back in. Oh, the CEO of an LGBTQ like organization say 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 that he's good, and now he's going back on tour with Rolling Loud the same people. Yeah, what he do for that? Cool. I don't care. Say who's I don't care. I'm clapping my hands. I'm clapping my hands. I feel you. No, I'm not listening. Listen, 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 that's all listen. I'm good. You know what I don't like? Though? What is it for? See, that's the problem. You know what I don't like? It's the problem with the niggas. You know what I don't like? It's the problem with the niggas. We can't accept the victory, right? You gotta know, question the good shit. Don't question the good shit. Nah, but you know what? Nah, but, nah, but you know what? Here's what I'm gonna say, though, right? Hold up, hold up. Now here's my problem, right? Yeah, yeah. Here's my problem. Right. Just like Black Lives Matter, you got. The families of the hurt, the dead. Yeah. And then you got the organization, the grave diggers, that get paid, the paid activists. The LGBTQ, you got our cousins, nephews, uncles, and then you got the elite. The LGBTQ that's related to us still love the baby. Right. The LGBTQ, the corporation, mm. is a totally different ball game. We never start or uh, stop liking the baby. The gay community never stopped liking the baby. Right. The powers to be had a problem with that because this is an agenda that they're pushing on our children. Mm. So now, when you speak out against, because the, here's the reality of it, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody ever asked the question, why did the baby just get on stage and say something like that? Maybe it was because one of them bambatas decided to uh, press up on him mm. and it irritated him. Mm. Why is it okay? For a straight man to be groped or come on by a homosexual when you know that this is something that we're against. Most gay men don't want gay dudes. They want their main objective is to turn out a straight dude. Wow. So now in the music industry, right, when everybody talks about you got to sell your soul, one of the things you have to do is participate. See, it's no fun for- so, so you believe in all that? Hell yeah. Because I know people in the industry that participated in the evil. But, but I want to say this. Do you think it's, it's just something with the music industry? It's Hollywood is worse. I think- Hollywood no, is I'll worse. I'll be honest with you. There's predators everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. It could be a predator at fucking UPS right now telling the motherfucker, if you want to get promoted, come in this office. Word. It could be a predator in your home. I think the, the issue is weeding out the people making those pre prepositions. Mm -hmm. Get them out of here. You can't. If they, if you, you, you gay, I ain't got no problems with you. I ain't got no problems. Do, do what you do. You know, I'm, I'm do what I do. You can't. You, know I mean? you got to understand something, right? Yeah. Then you listen to the rumors, then you listen to the facts. Latoya Jackson put out a book. It ain't no alleged, she put the book out. Mm. Basically telling you the corporate higher ups in the music industry was raping Michael Jackson. Mm. No ifs, fans, and buts about it. Her father, Monetarily? they're f raping them. They was raping that boy. The higher up. Physically up, or monetary? Physically raping him. Sexually assaulting. She put this out in her book. Wow. Ain't no allegedly, she put it out in her book. This is the book where she had the snake. And then they told her him. that they was going to disown her and all types of other stuff. So eventually she took the book off the shelves. But she put it out there and exposed that with Michael. Next thing you know, like throughout the years, Michael Jackson paid out over $200 million in crimes against children, sexual molestation against children. But these right? are victims that came came out after his death saying No, no, were, no, he's talking about alive. before that. No, I'm talking about when we was in before that. that. No, I'm talking about and 
Like when but, we, but, no, but no, listen acknowledging that some of these victims came out and said no, my parents made me listen say to that. me. No, I'm te- listen, listen to me, right? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about these are a lot of a, a lot of lot of cases, right? With children with Michael Jackson, you got to understand something. In some cases, you'll have people that sit up there and jump on the bandwagon. I'm gonna get a few million, but here's the reality of it, right? When there's smoke, there's fire. You don't have the amount of children that Michael had, and you're not a pedophile. You don't have the amount. Hold, let me finish. Let me, because I want to make a point. Yeah, we definitely. We definitely. You don't have the amount. You don't have the amount, like, because you got to understand. And you're not. Listen to me. When you're dealing in the music industry, this is what you don't understand. Yeah. Right now, Tyler Perry has something on. He has a show on 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 BET Plus, Mm -hmm. dealing with a cult leader. I believe that cult leader, I could be wrong, is Dr. York. Wow. Dr. York wow. is the spiritual teacher of Africa Bambada. Mm-hmm. You got to understand when you're dealing with secret societies, right? It's a secret society. Oh, we ask is trust. Absolute power. A lot, of, a lot of what goes on in these orders, fraternal right. orders, is sex trafficking with children. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. absolutely so now That's, but what but you're trying to pair michael into this listen to me Let, no 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 i, I love and i, I want to make this point i want to make this point michael was my favorite artist ever but people and i'm not saying all who has been molested go on to molest <laughs> people who has been molested go on to molest if you listen watch like if you study a so, so now I gotta ask you. I gotta I'm, ask you. I gotta no, no. ask you. I gotta ask you. Cause for me, the theory for Michael for me is he didn't have a childhood. He had to sing. Five years old. That was that. He was on tour. He's meeting uh, record executives. He didn't have no childhood, and he probably just wanted to relive it with kids. That's my theory on him. That's my theory. Now I don't think he was touching listen, him. I think he was just too nice. To put a hit on you the know what, you know what the saying you know what the crazy you know you know what the crazy part about it is though right and we still love Michael though a lot of people like study pedophilia mm. it's like listen to me study petty you treading on listen, dangerous listen waters listen now I gotta ask you listen to me I have to ask you definitely as a victim of that as a victim of that mm. were you ever pushed in that direction when I was a kid I'm gonna say this again because I said this. I was mimicking what was done to me. Mm. Children, I was touching. Wow. As a child, I was touching other children. Now, this is where the videos was manipulated on the, inf- the internet, yeah. and they start playing with the videos. As a child, yes, because I was touched at an early age, yeah. and it was continuously touching. I went on to touch other children. That's what so you thought was normal. When did, when did you stop? When did I stop touching other children? Yes. Like, uh, as a child, I touched children, but as I got older, I had girlfriends, so it switched over into me having girlfriends. Right. But as a child, I was touching other children. You remember because about you what age touched. the girlfriends kicked in? The girlfriends, um, oh, I was having girlfriends. I guess I started having girlfriends, if, if that's the case. If my uncle came over, let's say, with Darshan... And Darshan might have been a year younger than me or whatever the case may be. We was playing house. As a matter of fact, I told the story before. Darshan, me and Darshan was behind the curtains, touching each other. Girl comes in and um, pulls the curtains. She blows the whole scene up. I gets beat with a stingy cord. Darshan gets beat. And I'm sitting there thinking the whole time, like, why she tell on me? She, she was the first one to molest me. Mm. Wow. Mm. And there was times where my mom's in them was having card games. Like, with all of us playing spades, they're gambling in the kitchen, and she had me in the toilet in the bathroom. And it was like, when you, was, when, when, when you a certain age, a vagina is the most disgusting thing. Right. Hmm. When you a certain age, I don't care what these niggas be saying, oh, I would have did this. It is the most dis- disgusting thing. 
You got this female pushing on you with her pubic hairs, and she's pushing you in her, and, and you it's, 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 it's the most disgusting thing. And then for a female to make you lick what that shit looked like as a child? <laughs> it's like licking a monster. It doesn't look the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, licking yeah, a monster. Yeah, now, yeah, as yeah, an yeah. adult, <laughs> you got <God>. Yeah. As <laughs> an adult, God. it's like, yeah. yeah. But as a kid, it's like, no. Yo. So now, Boom. when you look at Michael Jackson, right? Mm. And you study the behavior of a predator, he has every 99.9% .9 of that shit in his DNA. Wow. From somebody that knows how they move. Mm. When you look at Michael Jackson, if you've seen the picture with him and Emmanuel Lewis, Webster, have you ever seen that picture? Google it and look at the picture with him and little Webster in the bed. Yeah. Uh, and I guarantee you, if you walked in that room and seen Michael Jackson with that baby in a position like that, with enough two men. in the baby. Two, they Listen, he looked like a baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. He looked like a baby. He was underage. He was listen. He was underage. He was underage. He was underage at that time. Okay, Google. He was underage. Michael Jackson, yeah. Webster. He was Oh boy, he's. If you look at that image, right? <laughs> I just put my phone back in my pocket. I couldn't even do it. He said, like, "Look it up." Look. Nope. Yeah. If you seen your kid in a room in a bed. With Michael Jackson, two men with a little kid like that, it's on. It's nothing to talk about. Yo. It's on. I'm just saying, yo, but just just but just being honest, bro. Yeah. I just felt I just feel like on Mike, top of the fact Mike that, wanted to relive his childhood. Listen, bro. listen, listen. That's what I feel. Listen, why, yo, explain to me, right? And this is what I hate, like that irritates me. This what, is what you're talking about? Listen. This picture? Not that one. Not the not that one. Where was the other one at? Uh-uh. There you go. There go one of them. Boom. Look how they got little Webster. Put that to the camera. Look how they got little Webster. Now, as a matter of fact, you don't want to put that because they might get you for own. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that don't look right. If that was my child, it'll be bodies. Raph, let me, Raph, let me see. <laughs> No, I don't want to see. No, no, no watch it, because I want you to speak. I want everybody, because Math is stuck right now. He's stuck. <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, go yeah, on. He's stuck go right on. now. <laughs> Matter of fact, that's Math, that's that say, I need that it's a different right position. Now. That's a little crazy. It's a different position. <laughs> oh, I threw my shit away. No. <laughs> like, no. For, for no, for me, it's, it's, yeah. it's just inhale, it's exhale. exhale. I, it hurt me too, yeah. man. It hurt me too, man. Yeah. I love Michael. Yo. Michael, yo, you were stuck, man. I love like, Michael. Michael. You had to look hold at him for a minute. Hold on, like. Yo, yeah, I bro. love Michael. But at the same time, I, it, it's just hard for me to put that on somebody without no solid, solid evidence, bro. That is because because back in the days, being real, that was a death sentence. Right. It was a death sentence. Right. Saying, saying these type of things about people. You know what I mean? And you don't know what could happen to him. So it's hard for me to I like, love Michael yeah, Jackson. Yeah. I love Michael Jackson. I cried when that man died. Mm -hmm. When I listened to his music, Michael Jackson was the most dangerous artist there ever was. When you look at Michael Jackson and listen to the videos and watch it, now, today, all I really want to say is they don't really care about us. His message. His message. The message. Over the when hook. you look at the Earth song, that he depicted, and he showed you how all of the wildfires are burning while animals is at. This is our food source. Yeah. Where he showed you the wars. He showed you the New World Order and what's going on right now. Exactly. And then you believe that he touched... I don't believe... No, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> Africa oh. Bear Butter had us out there revolutionaries just like Dr. York. Mm. Most of the preachers or the, or the dudes that teach you these things... Be the ones that touch the children. Now, my whole thing is, right, Michael Jackson is a billionaire. If you love kids, why did you wait to, after all of the rumors, to have two that don't look like you? Through a lab. Because he don't want woman. He turned himself into a white woman. And y'all still saying he's not gay? Nah, I don't think he turned no, himself into gay. a white woman. But this is he is I, gay. No, 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 I think mentally... 
He turned himself shit. into a white woman. Let OG get the fuck out of here. talking about somebody that was deformed. Let, uh, the let, trauma, let, had the trauma of being deformed at a young age, bro. Michael Jackson was one of the most beautiful, but he was deformed. That fight, you know, he used to wear a hairpiece because his whole joint was burnt up, bro. Keep listening to that lie. Yo, bl- JJ fifth JJ girlfriend. I you remember his girlfriend on Good Time. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my aunt. She used to sing with Diana Ross. Okay. Okay. So okay. I was a little kid, you know. Michael, you know, we all loved Michael as kids, especially if you're 40 years old, you was a Michael fan. Okay. So, you know, at my aunt house, she would have all the pictures of her and Diana Ross and the group and all the stuff, you know, all over the wall. So I'm over her house one day, and I'm about 10 years old at the time, 11 years old. So, you know, I don't know how the topic came up, but, you know, it was the topic around that time about Michael being gay. Yeah. So I was sitting there on the couch, and I told my aunt, like, yeah, you know, everybody's saying Mike gay. Mike is, you know, I... They, he's not gay. They, he's just cool. Like they don't got him figured out. Whatever. Like the eleven-year-old yeah. kid, mind you. So she looked at me while I'm saying it as an aunt, you know, just watching me. And she, you know, she said to me, "No, he's something different, honey." So I'm like, "What are you talking about?" So she said, "All right, let me explain this to you." She said, "You know, I was in the group with Diana Ross." I said, "Yeah, auntie." Mm. She said, "Well." There was one time we opened up for Michael in the Philippines. Mm. She said, during this time, this was around his off the wall. Uh, he said the Philippines. Said, I don't know. Yeah, if I'm she said when we went to man. open up for him. And, now, mind you, I'm 11. This is before <laughs> any. This is before anything came out. This yeah. Is before any child thing, anything. Before the white little kids. Before all of that. Yeah. She said to me, so she sat me down, like embraced it. She said, when we got off the plane, she said, in the Philippines, they're brown skin. Like, they they, they look, they got like a brown color, but their hair is straight, yeah. and they look a little different than us. She said, when we got off the plane, she said the security had to calm Michael down and take him to the room because he lost his mind. He went crazy for all the little boys that was on the island and kept running. Nah, up, son, up, come on, money, kept son. Kept running up, offering them money and trying to get them to go back to the hotel with him. And the security had to, like, you know, like, nah, take the, him nah. Down. Yo, this come shit on. broke my heart as a child, bro. An 11 year old kid, I didn't even want to believe what she was saying. By the time I turned like 16, he was getting busted with the first kid. Wow. And I'm like, and then that's when the story started coming out, and that's and now I'm thinking. I don't about believe what none she of that shit. Me. She said he was. Let me gay. ask you a question. He was something. She was mad. Else. She tried to holler at Mike. Mike curved the. She tried to holler at Mike. Mike curved the. Yo, let me tell you something. You, you left a picture. A left me in that scene right there. <laughs> oh, so I just so this water water water. That was your cup. Let me tell. Let me tell you like this, right? <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. You all, yo, hold on, hold on. We started. We started this episode off yeah. talking about what scorned women can come up with. Mm, 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 <laughs> Just remember that. Mm, well, I tell you one thing, right? Just remember. Just that. remember that. I tell you one thing, right? Yeah. You ever notice that Michael Jackson only wanted to be around little boys? He, he, he didn't not have a this, childhood. Not, listen, yeah, not, yeah, not yeah. only he not, didn't have not, a childhood. Well, I tell you what, right? See, when you understand pedophiles, right, I'm starting to learn about a little bit about science. Okay. The brain, a pedophile has, now they can detect whether you're going to be a pedophile or not because of your brain. Your brain is different. The brain pattern. The brain pattern is different. So they see and they know for sure. They, they don't even have to ask you. They can just scan your brain. Oh, he's a pedophile. Okay. Now, Michael had an obsession with little boys well into his 60s, well into his 60s, and after he just continuously been accused of touching little boys for over 40 years. Wait, Michael died at 50. 50, yeah. 2009. Yeah, he was 50. All right, yeah, so I'm carrying uh, him uh, like, yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, now, uh, 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 so uh, that, but so uh, now, and does, uh, listen, uh, listen, but listen though, Michael's whole career, even still, 
he has been accused of touching little boys. Understand. Michael Jackson paid out over a hundred million, starting from when he was young, for touching little boys. Right? That picture that just blew your mind, that you just seen, that's how powerful Michael Jackson is. Because once I seen that picture, and even still heard so many kids accusing him, he would have never been around my kids. I could still love your music. Mm. That's the problem with these parents. You so nah, starstruck bro, nah. that you would actually. It ain't even about being starstruck, man. It's just, yo, we live in America, bro. We live in America. You black, you powerful, you successful. They will find a way to draw the mustache on your face. You understand, Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby. Black death, he's the black father for all of Bill us, bro. Bill Cosby drugged them the females and admitted to drugging them females. Bro. So I don't knock Bill Cosby. When you say drug those females. He admitted one of them was a man. Wow. He, listen, he admitted to it. So I don't care. Listen, my, my whole thing is like this, right? Talking about party. I don't wow. really care. They all pop in the same shit. Yeah, but shit. listen, but listen, listen. So here's the question. Listen, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. I know dudes. I know dudes, and it's even happening right now. Like for example, for example, right? Brother Polite. You good? Don't worry about it. Right? See, the one thing that hangs him with me, automatically, oh, yeah. where there's Brother nothing Polite. to talk Brother about. Polite. Brother Polite is why is that man DNA on that little girl? Why did he take that little girl out of the hotel room where he was with the mother, right? To his hotel room. He brought her back so high, intoxicated, that the mother had to take her to the hospital. The doctor said if that girl didn't come to the hospital when she did, she would have died. Wow. He, Again, little, another potential this. leader. You started this episode off talking about how a woman can create stories. Stories, right. But now, let's another finish. Another potential finish. leader. Hold up, hold up. Another hold potential up. leader of potential? a financial Why? revolution. Hold up, hold up. Let's get it now. Of a financial now, revolution. Think hold up, hold up. In black America. Let me finish. Another no, potential leader. This. I'm not saying he's innocent. About the fact that I'm not that saying he's innocent, you, hold though. Listen, listen, but he's listen. a potential think leader. Think about the fact that Brother Polite yeah. said on camera to a victim of Dr. York, one that went to court, that Dr. York, a boy that Dr. York raped. Dr. York is in there for over hundreds of kids he raped. What's the name of this victim? Um... Uh, it'll come back to me. Yeah. Because me and him did something together too. But he's it's on paper. This is black and white. So now, and the footage is on the internet. Polite said to him on camera, even if Dr. York raped a thousand kids, he would still be my God. Even if Dr. York. Where's this footage? I bet you every dollar in my pocket, I pull it up. Mm. And my jewelry. You're saying it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube right now. I, I even got it on file. I, I don't want to bet. So, I so that, just yeah, yeah, it's on YouTube. We, we so before <laughs> we leave it, it I'm okay. going to show you. Even if Dr. York raped a thousand kids, he's still my God. Now, let's keep in mind, see the one thing that's even, Trump. Did he say even if they say? No, he said even if he did, he is still my God. You don't understand the cult and the cult teaching and the cult life? Nah, I do. And this is what you got to understand, son, right? Polite had DNA evidence on him, on that girl. Yeah, DNA evidence is real. And, oh, no. Stop on, it. On her show. Stop it. Because no. the no, charges no, 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 that was not. Yeah. See, there you go. Sexual molestation no, listen, was dropped. No, no, no. That's not true. No. He lied to you dummies because you was looking at him. What yeah. was dropped, right? Here's what was dropped. More charges was added. Wow. He got new charges. Wow. What, what happened was, right? They dropped, they dropped the actual rape because he didn't penetrate her in her vaginal. Yeah. What he did was he put his thing in her mouth and ejaculated on her shirt and on her head. Wow. And she passed out. And they found evidence. And his DNA evidence. Man. Now listen, now listen. His, D, his DNA evidence. Right, listen. Damn. Listen. See, look. His I'm jaded. Yeah, I'm that's, jaded, that's, that's, bro. His DNA, but understand, listen, I'm jaded. That's real. I'm jaded. That's real. I'm jaded. That's it's real. hard for me. That's real. Because I seen a woman come conjure up a story on me, and I'm sitting there like, this is a joke, right? 
and I'm watching other people believe this shit. I'm jaded, bro. If you don't got the first one, but DNA, DNA though, you know, DNA, DNA, can't DNA can't put it on nobody. Listen, bro. listen, listen, listen. I can't. Matt, can't. Matt, Matt, unless you could show Matt, me, like, look, nigga, Matt. this Matt. is him. He went to do it now. Matt, oh, Matt. If you can't show me that, nah, I can't Matt. do it. Matt. Because a miracle will do it to us Matt. too fast. Matt, the one thing too fast. Matt, the one thing that you the one thing that they didn't have with Bill Cosby was DNA. Yeah. What you better understand is, I gotta know what I there is no reason for his sperm to be on that girl. Yeah, that's there is, like, come yeah. on, Matt, it ain't gonna look good on camera. Mouth? His sperm, no, not on his, not on, no. No, they I found the, looked it, they yeah. found it in her and, mouth. And her shirt, uh, too. They, when she went, listen, the mother, the mother, listen, the mother, the mother, the mother the, yeah, the mother went to the hospital immediately. When he brought the daughter, listen, listen, Matt, let me break this down because I want you to listen to the evidence, right? Mm. Matt, the man, listen, we he took good the at girl. Destroying each other. He took the girl, he took the girl from a hotel to his hotel without allegedly. the mother. Allegedly. He took her to that hotel. In the paperwork from the precinct, with the district attorney actually speaking, the court case is on the internet with the district attorney br breaking down. They will show the footage of him coming out of the hotel, bringing her back to the mother's hotel, incapacitated while he's carrying her. Mm. So much to the point to where that the girl almost died in the hospital in his care, custody, and control. He got this girl, allegedly, I have to allegedly. say, forced to say, he got this girl at 12 years old, drugged. Brought her back to her mother with his semen on her. There is no way that you could explain to me why this man brought this girl back with semen, yes, in her mouth, mm -hmm. in, her hair, mm -hmm. in her hair, in her hair, Hassan. and on her shirt. Hassan. That, that gotta be real, 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 real quick, though, real quick, real quick. And I, I need to ask this question. Why are we so quick to convict each other? DNA? Before a court does. DNA? The, the DNA don't matter because he could have messed around with the mother and, and mm. she she could have switched shirts or whatever. There's ways of getting around that, my nigga. But but I want to know. But I want to know why are we so quick to convict each other? And why a court are we so job? quick to abandon the children that cry rape? I'm not abandoning them. Do you understand? I'm not abandoning Matt, them. You know what hurts so bad? Mm. One out of three little girls. Is raped and molested right in their home. Wow. One out of three. That's a statistics. One out of three. Statistics. One out of three. Horrible. And they saying with little boys, some cases they think that it's worse because they don't never tell. Wow. Little boys never tell. Horrible. They never, they rarely never tell. So when you niggas be sitting up there talking about that's not how a victim act, you ain't never seen no victims of little boys like that coming forward. Mm. Mm. So what some, made you scholars? I know some that was in the, that was in that was in the gang. I would never tell they shit, but yeah. I, I know dudes that was in gangs that they got molested. Well, first of they all, told me. Most of yeah. the dudes yeah. that are in gangs so, and are killers all happen to be dudes that was molested. And they got so now well, the, they kids, came right? home. Yeah. So the, the kids, came right? The kids, right? He was molested. The reason, yo, yo, they say, why do good girls like bad boys? Because they were molested. Because they needed somebody to protect them from their stepdad. They want to feel safe. They needed somebody to protect them from their uncle. Mm. Let me ask you a question, Math. This girl accused Polite of raping her 12-year-old daughter. Right. Why does Polite still have pictures of him and that girl hugged up on his platform? And putting up new ones about how much he loved the mother? Maybe he didn't. Let me explain something to you. That nigga doing that. If you accuse me of rape... If you accuse me of rape, if I have the power, if I could find any way to send any of my niggas at you and your kid, you're gone. You and the kid. If you accuse me of rape, you know I had a dude that lived in Bronx River, right? Bro, listen, but, that, but that, that's, that, that's you. Listen. It's not everybody. Listen, I understand. This as, a dude, bad as, if, as bad as what Shorty said, yeah. I felt sorry for her. That that's what the fuck she had to do to get some attention. I feel bad, like. How did the sperm end up on her, though, man? Bro, 
My nigga, you never, got, you never took a condom off no, and, on, and tossed it. You never, right you don't know. How did this girl end up in her mouth? We don't, I don't know, bro. Hold on. I got a we don't a know. Girl. Until a court says, until the court says you corner. are convicted of this crime, you're going to do such and such. I don't want to hear that, bro. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Nah, that shit happened too much. Why did he take you to the back if you are? Why did why did you bring that much girl? We need to deal with you as men. This mm. is why why did Polite take right that little girl with you, bro, to a hotel room? I know that you are in the middle of the night, and I get but you don't myself. know. That's the problem. DNA in your mouth. You have to explain that. We got to bring you up against the uh, against the men against us. The men in the community. How did this DNA get in this little girl's mouth? According to math, they took it off the sweater. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Come on math. Bro. You too smart for that, Math. Bro. bro. We gotta, we gotta, gotta come so up. answer me My one nigga. question, Math. We in the you trap. Know. Math. We in the Why trap. Just we answer in me the one trap, question. Bro. Why we is there the footage? Trap. Why is there footage of why this is, is the there trap. footage of Polite taking yeah. that young girl in the middle of the night to his hotel room away from the mother? Why did he take her? I don't want that doesn't look good at all. What's to be in a hotel room? Good, it don't look but good. It don't dictate it's not an incrimination, but it doesn't look good. What's his explanation? Yeah, he needs he needs an explanation. He needs an explanation. He needs an explanation because that don't look good. No. Let the court figure that out, bro. Let the court nah figure that out. That's the problem. Listen, that's the problem. We can't do the we can't do the court no more. We are the court, and in some cases, and in some cases, in some cases, when you want to see taking samples, yeah, then we don't we don't we don't have we don't have all the evidence. We don't have all the evidence. It's too and easy. And we got a history it of a lot of easy black, to tell powerful people, men being pulled yo, down. We got a history did this. Hold up. I got another one. Oh, whoa. Hold up. Matt, I got another one. We got we a history. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. They'll say hold up. any of us did. Hold you up. Hit a, bro, hold up. You get to the point where you're making millions? Yeah. Hold somebody's going to say something hold about up. you. What about his best friend? And what? What about his best friend? What about when Sarnetta got on Sarnetta TV and Polite said to Sarnetta, I, no, Polite said to Sarnetta, or said about Sarnetta, he said, I, I paid for your car. Sarnetta said, what? You playing with me, baby York? Oh, Renatech. Yeah, Renatech. You want me to tell people how you ran off with your wife's daughter? And how you're molesting your wife? That's not what he said. You, 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 you want me to play it for you? That's not what he said. All right. He said she ran off. Listen, she ran Not off. He ran off. She ran he off. He ran off with Renatech. She ran. He ran off with Renatech. Called him Baby York, which is his master teacher. Mm -hmm. Called him a rapist. Do you really want me to tell you? Tell what you doing with Renatech, Baby York? Polite fell all the way back when he was accused Whoa. by his friend. Oh, and, 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 and let me ask you a question. Now, hold up. Hold on, let me ask let me you finish. a question. Let me oh, finish. I, no, no, let me no, no, finish. No, no. Well, well, so I, now, I got one allegedly, Renatek, the daughter of his wife, is now his new wife. I heard that. You hold know what? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I heard that. Hold up. Wait. That's crazy. So you're taking. I did hear that. You're taking Sonetta's word. No. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Let him land it. When you saw this man chilling with Polite after that. Now, if I knew some shit like that, Math, let me I'm ask you a question. I'm not chilling with you. Math, let me ask you a question. I got daughters. Math, let me ask you. You look at my daughter Math. the wrong way. Son, that is, your Listen, nose is on your ear. Math, you feel what Math. I'm saying? Math, I'm not going to be chilling with you. Math, let me ask you a question. I'm not going to be doing business with you. Math, let me ask you a question. But you taking the word of a nigga that... Supposedly knew that truth. Now let me flip exactly. this question. And then continued to do it. Nah, bro. Let me I can't do it. So let me flip that question. Let me flip that question. So now, I can't do it. Do you think I, 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 that I'm gonna hang with you after you <laughs> accuse me of rape? So now, what was the motive? After he told the world that Polite was a rapist, the worst thing you could ever accuse a man of. Why would Polite go hang out with Sinetta again? After he called him a rapist, because now at this point, whoa. Now, at this point, Polite is getting bread. Mm -hmm. More bread than Sonetta. Now, we don't know. Sonetta, no, I'm telling you. Something wrong According, according to. Something wrong there. According to 
sign out his platform and me watching numbers and me knowing numbers, yeah. his, his, his platform is in the graveyard. But even still, once you call me a rapist yeah. and you my friend, we'll never hang out again. Well, we're not friends. Yeah, On top of the fact that we're doing no we're business either. Yeah. Business Are you going to hang out I'm, with the I'm girl? I'm dropping the Addy. The girl, the girl, the girl dropping the Addy. What you just said? The girl that, the girl Yo, that called check you. Check this out. Check the, the phone. The girl, check your phone. Turn the camera on. <laughs> the girl <laughs> accused you. That yeah. accused you. Are you ever going to hang out with her again? Nah. Under no circumstances. Nah. Yeah, you got to so shake now, the spots. Nah. Polite then sat up there and told you that Dr. York, even if he touched a thousand kids, is still his God. Polite just turned around, called him Baby York, told the world that the world that he ran off a of Renatech, right? Even called family members to prove that Polite was hiding out in California, allegedly with this young girl, right? And now Renatech is allegedly one of his wives right now, according to Polite. Not her Allegedly. Job. Wow. And this was, so now you have a history of going after your girlfriend's daughters. You got a horse in this race. Wow. You have a horse in this race. And I think anybody who's been through any type of situation is going to be on guard for anything. All I'm saying is... You both do, though. Yeah, that's what I was about to we say. Both you both do. Both of them got a partial... You, you both do. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, hold on both your sides mm -hmm. right. due to what you've been through, which means, which the funny part is, when you asked the question earlier, why are we so good at destroying each other? Mm -hmm. And he asked, he asked the question on the other side of the coin. The funny part is, it's the same answer for both questions because we're both familiar with the evil that people are capable of. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why he that's why he can see it from his deep side. Deep words. That's why Those you can see it words. from your side. Once, you, once you're aware... <laughs> I used to watch, it's funny, fucked up. I used to watch Scooby-Doo with my father. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, can't, I can't remember when, but one time I, 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 I was always trying to get him to watch it with me. Like, just watch, just watch, because I never watch. knew who the monster was going to be at the end. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Dad, did you see that? Did you see that? And he got tired of me. And he says, son, the monsters are always human. Wow. The monsters are always human. I don't need to watch it. The monster is always going to be And it's always human. somebody that you know. It's always going to be human. Wow. And the I people never, that hurt yeah. you the most is the ones that, that's to supposed you. to love you. Wow. And see, this is what hurts the most because it's like, like I said, again, I have a family member that was just accused of touching his own stepdaughter. Yeah. Homegirl, 17 years old, got on camera and said, that ain't what happened. The son was like, nah, he's a good father. We just don't like him. So I understand how women can play. And but why, at the same and why time, man feels but, the way but, he does. But, yeah, 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 but, but, it's two different ends of the but, spectrum. There is a certain pain of a victim that you can smell. And there is a certain aura of a predator that comes off. You can see and smell the predator all over polite. Like how they say, you never forget it. I can't. Agree I can't you, which, because, listen, I can, everybody have a gift. Mm -hmm. You might have a gift where you can sit up there and say, yo, oh, shit. We in the spot. It's about to be a robbery. They about to rob the spot. Let's get up out of here. Nobody else might not see that. I have a sniff and detect. I can detect predators. Mm -hmm. Polite gives off the aura. Polite was raised. He has an infatuation with, uh, with, with Dr. York, a nigga he never met. Who he knows is a pedophile. In jail, Dr. York copped out. Because he didn't want to lose his legacy. He didn't want them to tell everybody that all of the kids that he slept with, he gave herpes. So we copped out. Wow. And new Wapians all over the world are still fighting, saying that they drugged him. They made him say that. His DNA evidence, he gave them children herpes. And a brother named is Tyreek that, by the way, came back to me, that, that, that Polite was talking to. And I'm going to show you this video. Matter of fact, it might be in my drive. Even if. Even if I hear you, but why he raped a thousand people, he would still be my God. If you raped anybody and I found out that you raped somebody, it's quiet. It's quiet for you. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm so conniving that if you rape somebody and we in a dark alley and I know there's no cameras and I think I could get away with it, you're hey, dead. There you yeah. go. Mm-hmm. You're dead. There you like, go. see me, 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 I, I come up and like, I'm a little, I'm a little sick. I'm, I am a little off when it comes to certain shit. I feel like that, and it's not even that and I'm sick and off. I personally feel like we should stop waiting for massa to clean up the community. If you rape a kid, we handle that. We handle that. No, we don't beat you up, my nigga. Because beating you up ain't gonna make the cravings of what you like in that child go away. But here's the crazy thing. If we gonna hold court, let's hold court. Let's not just read headlines and decide who people are. You got a fact, you got a point. No, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the dangerous thing about society right yeah. now. Somebody could Point Say something finger. about you, and it's so yeah. And you know these, you know how thirsty these blogger niggas be. They can go viral. They did it. You know how? Did you see the video with be. the white boy? They'll jump over. They got a white boy. It's like a, it's like talk, tossing a steak yeah. to a bunch of hungry fucking dogs. Yeah, they yeah, did yeah, it to yeah. me. They just hot. They got yeah. they, 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 yeah. dudes, and you know dudes what? It's real because I have, yeah. got a white yeah, boy to say I raped him in Virginia. I have tested it out. I have did certain things over the years, like like testing Instagram, just testing things, marketing things. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I have thrown certain things out just to. To see and Shaz going viral. You understand what I'm saying? That people just run with things. It's true. It's true. What here's saying. the thing. They'll hear, have to they'll hear the, neg- the negative or initially, but they never go to check if the shit was real. Yeah. Men even live, hardly ever yeah, go back to nah, see. Men live under the suspicion that. that. It just that goes, goes away. Period. To no, the next thing comes. It just becomes no, 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 part of that, your that, resume. You know what scares me about this conversation? Yeah, you're right. What scares me about this conversation is you have two lawyers, the DEA and the, the defendant and the own, you know, the, the the court, right? It's scary because these arguments is what break kids in the court and would get so many dudes off. Mm. Because of these arguments, the kids being cross-examined, the parents being put under scrutiny. The reality of it is when I say one out of one out of three. Most of the females I know have been raped. Mm. No, no justice. Right. Mm. Everybody has the family predator, pedophile, that has never been brought to any justice. justice. Wow. And then as soon as we start having conversations about the ones, especially like Polite, that have his DNA in the child's mouth wow. and on her clothing, and it's still... We got to wait for more. And, 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 and hold on. And then we, and then we still... He's he just, just going to make sure he dropped that and, home. And then, I, yo, I, I but you know you. what, though? Like, see, because the, the evidence is there. One thing that's Trump, he got on he got on the internet, you lying, conniving son of a bitch, and told people that they dropped the charges. No, they dropped one charge and added other charges because you didn't penetrate her. So they charged you with molestation, which is no different from rape. Rape is just a, a different form. Rape means you penetrate it. So mm-hmm. you, in court, there's language. When you're dealing in court, there's language. So under language, they had to drop the rape because it meant you penetrated. But it didn't mean you ejaculating on her clothing and her hair and her mouth was a lesser charge. It means that it's a different type of charge in language. And I can, so now I he, can still has, he still has a court there case. There was somebody talking like this about the Central Park Five. A lot of they're mad different situations. Like, there was somebody talking <laughs> like this mad, mad about the Central Park Five. There was police officers that framed the brothers. And we know that's the history of what whites did to us. But the one thing that we're not going to let you and get away with trying to learned. save this nigga the is that there's court, fig, fig, court images too. And, and, and it's medical, medical documents showing her blood with drugs in her blood at 12 years old. Her leaving the hotel. Her leaving. Her leaving. Yeah. Exactly. Her leaving the hotel. I hear all of y'all. I hear all of y'all. And that's still not good but enough? Can, can we just let the fucking court do what they do. No, of course. No, no, of course. The they gonna do what they do that's anyway. Can we just this do is, this that? Is, this is just a pity. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. This is just a, yeah. Yeah. Is just a pity. So what if the mother get tired, right? Just like in the same situation with Charlemagne the God. Mm. Charlemagne gets on the radio. Yeah. And he tells a story mm. about how he did the same thing mm. to Jessica Reed. 
He tells the story on the radio, and a dude that's talking to him says, Charlemagne, this sounds like rape. So Charlemagne says, nah, you know, I, he, 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 he drugged her. Talking about he gave a Spanish fly, yeah. but Spanish fly don't knock you out. Yeah. So he put something in the girls that incapacitated her, so she lost her memory. Then he said how he opened up the door and let all the friends look at her. And she asked, and she, she asked him, well, did they fuck? He was like, nah, they just looked. They ain't fuck. This is a conversation. Meanwhile, this whole story that he's telling on the radio is exactly what happened to Jessica Reed. The girl that got raped. And then he tells a story on the radio about how him being with his wife... When he first slept with his wife, she didn't give it to him. He got her incapacitated and took it. She didn't want to have sex until she got married. But she was okay. She married him. She married him. But even still, you don't, you don't see, yo, you don't see the pattern of a sick nigga? But he, but the bottom line, she did say that the first she time married they had sex, him. he drugged her. No. She married him. They were both drunk. They were drunk. Yeah. She married drunk her. and she, she yeah, married. But listen, her. look at the see now y'all thinking for her. Matt, now y'all thinking yeah. for her. How are we doing Matt. this, bro? If, a, we if, doing a, if a woman make a verbal contract, Who have sex if with a, a woman, woman that's not conscious, I'm he not did, listen, and she liked it, crazy. so they got married. Right. I'm not having right. listen. Right. I'm not right. having right. listen. No If I had sex, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't matter in this room. This nigga's out there. Not those are the weirdos. Yes. We got this world is full of and we got <laughs> Have we not figured this out yet? We got not figured this out yet. We got to identify the fucking weirdos, bro. Away from the baby. Yo. That's a fact. Yo. This, 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 this. If you want to have sex with a woman unconscious, you a little bit over there. You, you know what a necrophiliac is? Over there. Oh, somebody Jesus Christ. Christ. You know what a necrophiliac is? What's happening here? Yeah, we you know what a necrophiliac is? But you know, like... There's a reason why that, that word is Thank in the you. dictionary, Thank right? you. Thank you. Right. Jesus Christ. Yo, man, Christ. there's weirdos everywhere, man. Well, I tell you what, right? Here, here's the rules, right? Especially if you a dude that got integrity. If I never slept with you, I know that it's a dangerous thin line for me to go that far. There's females that I've Fact. been with, that I've been in a relationship with in my younger days. That we done kissed and did everything I never slept with. And I knew I couldn't cross that line. Mm -hmm. When a female goes to sleep and alcohol knocks her out, if you never slept with her, you are crossing a fine line. And when you get on the radio... That is a fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are crossing a fine line. Yeah. And she married she married him, but it gives a pattern. See, it caught. Okay. But listen. But it does give a, it, it gives it does a give pattern. pattern. And in his pattern, the women and what he brags about on a radio is getting them incapacitated and sleeping with them. In Jessica Reed's story, he got her incapacitated. He took an underage girl to a party. Gave them drinks, whatever they put in them, had them throwing up. Dudes were sleeping with girls that had vomit all over them. Oh, Jesus. Jojo and the girls went straight from that party to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Straight from the party to the hospital. The next morning. Well, the girlfriend, her girlfriend. The next morning. Her girlfriend. Because I definitely followed up on that, too. The girlfriend. It was, was the on next point. Yeah, the girlfriend morning. was on point. Listen, the it was the, the statute next of limitations went out morning. on that? That's what why happened he got was away? The, yeah, mother that, the mother didn't push. The mother. The mother fumbled the case for the daughter. Yeah. But the pain never goes away. Yeah, yeah. The daughter's going to be. And. To hear him on the radio, mocking what he did to her, but acting like it was another girl, set her on fire. Because mm. he brought the same story up that just so happened to her. And just like Tasha K said, this is the lesser charge nigga. He got lucky by copping out to a lesser charge. He copped out See? to a lesser charge. And he here comes my out. bias. Here comes my bias. Because Tasha K had to take down her story on me. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't know she did a story on you. Nasty. Wow. Nasty work. Nasty wow. work, bro. Let's let, let the courts do what the fuck they do, bro. Nope. Because I'm tired of it. We shit. also hold court, too. Because if the courts fail us, if the courts fail us, and in many cases, the courts do fail, and these niggas come back into our community, then there's another child. And it's, oh, the mother did it, too. Mm. Then there's another child. So at some point in time, we got to start stop looking for the system to solve our problems. Just like, for example, right? With all these killings going on in the hood, and that's going to be part two because we ain't even get into that. Mm. 
We gonna wait for the courts to go get our nephews? Where's all the fathers at? And that's, that's the bottom line. Parents, everything that we discussed tonight revolves around Parenting. missing parents. Mm -hmm. Parents not being responsible when it comes to their kids. In tune. You're not going to make that mistake. I'm not going to make that mistake. And hopefully the people that's watching, y'all not going to make that mistake. So we don't have to hear about this type of shit. That's how we break the cycle. That's how you break mm -hmm. the cycle. It take a be the mm -hmm. fucking mm -hmm. parent. Be, be the, the parent. parent. Right. Kids, so. Be the parents. Just not to our kids, to all children. One man at Yo, a time. I told you. I <laughs> oh, told damn, you. Going on you gonna get me banned? I know it, but this yeah, is good. Was, this is gonna come on so powerful. It was This build is gonna come on so powerful. But you know what though? We gotta do more. Because that was, that was our hard. energy yeah. together is that crazy. That was hard. That was the hard. Energy that together. was hard. That was hard. Love it. 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 Love in a way they were supposed to. He right. have an energy. That's my right. father. He has a, always, he had a, he got an energy. Mm -hmm. That's real. He passed in 04. Mm, bless rest us. In, rest in peace. Bless That's in peace. He's the reason why I never drank and never smoked. My mm -hmm. deal with him was when I did it for the first time, I do it. We do it together, drinking wow. or smoking. Wow. So when he passed in 04, I mean, we we could go to. The, I didn't disrespect the man in life. The, I'm not going to do it in death. No, I mean, we can take a shot by the grave still. Like, you, right, you can. Yeah. <laughs> when I, when, when, right, I'm, I'm going, yo, yo, man. That's deep, though. Like, it, it's that's like, dope. all the things you taught him. That's deep and that's dope. To actually have a deep with your dope. father. Word, word, word. When, word, when, word. when, that, awesome. when that day happens, me and him will be sitting across it from the table from dope. each other. Dope. I can wait. Dope. I can wait. Respect I didn't do it here. I, I can wait. Respect Dope. it. I was Dope. hoping Dope. we spoke a little bit more about the legendary album. Yeah, that was like... We did that, that kind of would Let's get another one. one. We, we, kinda, you know we, could get, we could get we another get one. Another one. Word. We definitely going to get another one because that right there... That, 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 it's Alpo, not the end of the story. Oh, yeah. no, it's not the end of the story. That's yeah, not the end of the story. We could actually... Some other shit is about to come out in like two days. Yeah. But, and everybody going to be Listen, one thing I'm going to tell you, Math, man, from the with the way they doing us, because I can see what they doing in your number. They doing the same shit. Like, if one of us fall, we got to be able to pick the other one up. You never know what they'll take your page for. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be able to pick it, exactly. pick it back lab. up. Quarter lab. We're going to talk. For real. Anything. Exactly. Exactly. Nah, that's, it was a great show. It was a good union. I was happy to see that. HipHopMovie.com. You already know what it is. That's what's up. Don't be scared to pay for security. It might save your life. Hmm. Facts. Five God. Black History Month coming February. My project, so be on the lookout for that. I'm on um, Hassan Campbell platform, all my videos, everything. So Dope. if you want to know about me, just look at me through there. My Instagram is um, T H A underscore five G O D underscore N A G G A. Nigga, you already know the vibe. <laughs> Pay attention to your circle before, before they, they hurt, hurt you. you. They smile in your face. All the while, they want to take, take your place. place. Backstabbers. Backstabbers. <laughs> Backstabbers. <laughs> we out. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Uh -huh. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.